gentlemen let's get straight to business if you send your request make sure you disagree with me if you do not disagree with me do not send your request go straight to your point when you come up don't play linguistic gymnastics with me huh because you're gonna get bacangalized your mentality will be reorganized Q-Top cannot own anybody. The only thing that Q-Top owns is his brain. And unfortunately, my brother Q-Top is not using his brain to the fullest potential. Mm? That's right. There is no God. Prayer is talking to yourself. You can pray if you know that you are talking to yourself. Prayer is very toxic if you don't know that you're talking to yourself. Huh? If you think you're talking to something other than yourself when you're literally talking to yourself, what else can we call that but mental illness? What else can you call that but mental illness? Hmm? Ask yourself why you are praying for the same thing over and over, expecting that one day you will suddenly pray, then what you're praying for would happen. If you want something in this life, you should go work for it now. You should sit down and think of a strategy. Sit down, think of a strategy. Uh oh. You're still laughing. What up, man? What's up, man? Day 732 of a conga trying to refute the existence of God and still failing. Jamal, when, when why, are you, you why, why, why are you crying, Jamal? <laughs> like I try, I'm trying to encourage you to do more, some do something more productive. This is not productive. Is it productive for you to come up here and tell you the truth? Because I'm trying to like wake you up, man. Wake me up from what? You're you're cocky, you're arrogant, and you're wrong. Usually, when you're armed problem. with truth, when you when, when when your words are true. Arrogance usually follows. <laughs> it's only the nature of those who speak the truth to be arrogant. Yeah, man. Listen, man. You're you're like most atheists, just arrogant but wrong. Sure. So you're very prideful. Yeah. So and and you're wrong. That's a bad combination, man. Bad combination. Listen, man. Okay. Uh, do you really want the truth? Do you care about the truth? The truth is not something you should care. It's something you should simply use. It works whether you care or you don't care. It's something you believe in. You believe no, you the don't truth. need to. If something is true, you don't need to believe it. I mean, you should. You simply <laughs> need to understand it, Jamal. No, you need to know believe it. it. <laughs> if you believe something, it's because you don't know if it's true. Bruh, listen, man. Have you if seen you the movie? If you believe something, it's because you don't know if it's true. Once it's true, it leaves you speechless. The nature of truth is speechlessness. You know, there's no, yeah. there's no need for further conversation when the truth has been revealed. You, Such as when I say there is no God, it leaves you speechless. You don't care about the truth, man. You're like, if you were Neo from the movie The Matrix, you would have taken the 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 blue pill. I would have taken <laughs> the black pill. You would have, you would have. It's like, nah, I don't want the truth. <laughs> you would have taken the blue pill you're taking it right now you want to stay in your delusions oh what happened to him do you actually have evidence that there is a god Jamal, or you're just going to come here and spill religious propaganda yeah so uh, sure i'll drop some evidence for you but will you actually like listen to the evidence if your precondition is that i must listen in order for you to speak then you're trying to persuade me based on sentimental reasons rather than just actual facts and truth that can be observed. Uh, I'm putting it uh, I'll give you evidence. I'll give you the evidence. Um, the DNA code. So let me give you a syllogism. All codes that we know of come from an intelligent mind. There's not a single example of no, a not, code. All codes don't come from an intelligent mind. Uh, yes. The code... In your operating all system, codes, your all computer, codes don't come from an intelligent mind. Languages come from an intelligent mind. All codes don't come from an intelligent mind. Okay, all right, prove, prove it. Because there are some things that we consider code that are not inherently code. The reason why we call code is because that's just how the human mind works. 
We don't know how any other mind works beyond just the human mind, right? For example, the noises that the animals make, does it make sense to you? Okay, that's code. That's code. The, the, it's like the, language, the noises language. that the animals make, does it make sense to you? But if they're communicating with one another, then that's what is a the code. code? What is a code? Yeah, so code is kind of like a language where there's a receiver and a decoder, right? Okay. Is the receiver uh, less than the decoder? No, 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 no. Think a about message. it. A what message. language? What language do you know that was ever invented by one person? <laughs> languages are not invented i don't think i mean i mean maybe there were has been languages yeah i would give it to you if you're saying that look hey um code shows that intelligence is a thing okay yeah sure fine but how you isolate it to an almighty supreme all-knowing being that you imagine and wrote the bible that's what's <laughs> crazy that's what's no, we're, ridiculous we're just, right? we're just talking about the existence of god so listen you cannot so, talk about the existence of God without talking about the existence of God's plural. The, wait, the, there what? has to be a straight observable line that leads to how you can summarize all of this and attribute it to one single entity. And you can't do that. Um yes I can. Okay, right. do it. Let me see how, let me see how you do it. Yeah, so life was intelligently designed because we can infer um of the you cannot say you know, that life was intelligently designed if the whatever designed life was also a life who well, who intelligently designed life it was an intelligent designer was that intelligent designer alive when they were designing life obviously okay then they did not intelligently design life life was already there before what you're calling what you think was that designed does not, that does not logically follow at all <laughs> how does that not logically follow you're saying that somebody designed something which was already there how do you something, know that life something is they had there? to be in order what? no life had a beginning right okay so where did life begin um who knows i don't know the exact date but the point is okay that before life, life began what was there non-life Hold up. So life came from non-life? Mm, like, but no, I'm, I'm talking about like biological. <laughs> life, <but>. Hey, Joma, <laughs> linguistic gymnastics will not help you. Are you saying before there was any type of life, what was there? Okay, biological life. There was no before. There was no We're talking about life. life. Don't say biological life. We're just talking about life in general. No, 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 just just, just like just like you're talking about weird. intelligence in general, right? We're just talking about life. Before there was any life, whatever shape or form, at any time and in anywhere, what was there? Um, my I believe life. And when it pertains to God, always exists. No, it doesn't pertain. I'm not don't isolate it to anything. I just mean in general, life. No, mm -hmm. no, you, you can't. That's unfair. You can't do that. That's very fair. I'm talking about life in general. As I'm, we commonly I'm, well, I'm, understand I'm, it, life. I'm what was there bio. before there was any form of life? Any form of life. What was there? What was there? Um, well, I believe that God is light. The I'm not life. asking what you believe. Tell me facts. Tell that's me facts. Fact. That can be tested. That that's be... a fact. What, what was when, the fact? When it, comes to, when it comes to like biological life, um, it had a beginning. Right? What life do you know which is not biological? Uh, well, I know that God is life, but he's not biological. <laughs> what is life, bro? Life is, uh, well, you're talking about biological life or... <laughs> <laughs> you said you know God is life, but God is not biological. And then you're saying that there's biological life and non-biological life. So what is life? Okay, if you're talking about biological life. No, I'm talking uh, about life in general. Not whether biological or non-biological. What is life? Mm, well, I think a hallmark of like life, intelligent life. It's like a, you have to have consciousness. <laughs> consciousness. Jamal, you have been yes. vandalized. Thank you for your time, bro. No, no, let me no, go on to really. somebody else. Not really. You take an L, man. Let me let me go to somebody else. You seem like you need some rest. You had a long day at work, didn't you? 
You can talk to me. Because God ain't going to pay those bills. So you come on the internet, you talk all that crap, you still go and work. I see how you are. You're lying to your followers, Jamal. You're lying to them. You're telling God will make a way where there is no way, but your ass still got to go to work. (laughs) You still got to go say yes, sir, to your boss. Huh? Stop stop being anti-God, Bukonga. You cannot be anti-God. You are. You got, there is no God. That's anti-God. No, listen, listen. Yes. yes. How how is that anti-God? Listen, bro. If there is two teams playing and then like... I'm for the other team. It doesn't mean I'm anti the other team. It doesn't mean I'm anti football. It doesn't mean I'm anti the game, right? You're just saying that this thing is, and I'm just saying it's not. You put right. so much time. So now, and energy without to both of us it. talking, no. without both of us talking, you're saying this thing is. I'm saying it's not. Without both of us talking, can anybody observe and come to a conclusion that supports you or supports yes. me? Yes. Well, listen. Um, you don't have to always observe something to know that it exists. That's why right? it's called imaginary. You're just making that shit your up. Consciousness, in your, head. your consciousness cannot be observed scientifically. We can't. Consciousness, we can't as defined, it. can be observed. No, it can never be observed. It simply means inherent- awareness, bro. Like, and, and you can inherent- tell when something is aware. Mm-hmm. Like, you can observe something which is aware. In- something which is not aware, you can also observe. It's inherently subjective, right? We can't see consciousness. Consciousness is not a thing. That's why consciousness is not a thing. That's why I said it can be observed. It's a, it's, it's a phenomenon. Yeah, well, Awareness. Okay, but, the ability to be we, aware we, of we, one's surrounding, right? Yeah, we, we know it exists. And that's what we call living things. Living that's, that's the difference between a rock and a goat. <laughs> you can tell that the goat is aware. You can see the consciousness of the goat. I can't see the It's the goat like, itself. I, no, nah, no. Nah. You will do some more reading on t- philosophy of mind. You'll understand that consciousness is something that. Bro, I don't need to do no reading of philosophy touch. of mind. My mind works good enough. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Jamal. Repent and turn to Jesus. And repent go and, me on my repent, YouTube, repent and turn to Buddha. <laughs> no, Jesus. No, he's Buddha. the Lord. Jesus. Buddha is Lord. He's King. Jesus. <laughs> Jamal. There is no God. It never has been. And there never would be. Prayer is talking to yourself. Hello. Hello. Um, listening to him, to him talk was so embarrassing. I like had secondhand embarrassment. Um, when are religious people going to accept or acknowledge the only reason why they believe in it so much is because they're afraid of hell? They are afraid of going to hell and they don't have any evidence but the fear of hell has been ingrained in us so deeply that we would choose to believe in something with no evidence just in case it's real just in case it's real i'm already covered that's the whole that's the whole premises of these devout religious people it's all fear and as a human being i don't want to live my life in fear especially because there's already scary things going around like we're living in a world that god put us in right and it's a terrifying place already and then you tell me if i don't believe you i'm gonna go to another hell like that is that is like psychologically fucked up it's not just it's not just fucked up it's just dumb because the reason why this they're afraid of hell obviously is the fear but it's also a lack of understanding right the fact that staying on earth is not one of the options of the of the afterlife shows you that some human being made that shit up because if there's really a god he has nothing to lose we're just allowing all the bad people to stay on earth they don't have to go to hell they can just stay on earth and he can just let them do their stuff to each other why does he specifically have to burn them up eternally Simply because they didn't know which one out of hundreds of thousands of narratives were the true one. If you exercise caution, it's best to not believe. That's what I'm saying. Like if God was if God was real, the only people that God likes are those who don't believe. Those who believe are those who are so anxious and they they they're not patient it's enough. Like, it's like Stockholm syndrome. Right. Like it, it, you're such in a toxic relationship with God. First no, of not all, with you God. Go- 
you're in a toxic with, relationship with an idea of God. Yeah, because that's what I what mean. God it's is, a toxic relationship with an idea because right. if you think about the stories that is being told, the stories that are written about this God, the actions of the world, the, the evidence of we see in this world is so toxic. Like you see such tragic horrific things happen to people that is man-made and you're telling me that god is omnipotent that he controls everything in the universe that he will allow people to do such horrific things what they, kind they of god do some stuff like that we don't live in an omni reality nothing is omni nothing right. is omnipresent nothing right. is is omniscient nothing is omnipotent right those mm -hmm. omni thoughts are all exaggerations it's the same right. thing the word omni just means super right the word omni so super present super knowing and super powerful or and almighty all present of... and all knowing you know it and it is a it is a it is a the product of of man's ability to think human beings have the ability to exaggerate things mm -hmm. and the idea of omni, absolute, super, it's the mm -hmm. highest exaggeration. So when, when human beings encounter something overwhelming, it's only natural, honestly, when the mind is ignorant to assume that whatever it is that's responsible is almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful. It takes right. critical thinking to deconstruct <laughs> and see right. that no matter how With powerful something concept. is, with that concept of knowing everything before and after it happens the and then adding free will to it that whole concept do not make sense you can't tell me that we god gave us free will but also you telling me he knows what we're going to do before we do it like it makes no sense like if you know i'm going to make the bad choice you still punish me for making the wrong choice even though you already knew i was going to pick the wrong choice the, the, that concept the, the, makes no the sense most, to me. the the the, the most deconstructing aspect of it let me tell you something y'all listen carefully an almighty all-knowing all-powerful being has no reason to create anything big facts creation is something that's always done out of necessity if you're perfect there's no reason to create yes, yes. there's no reason to even live <laughs> there isn't there's no reason like, to exist <laughs> when you think you about what, it, what is the end goal of this like this life that we're living and breathing what is the end goal that is why the life that we have and what we understand as life is not independent of pain and suffering we right. know we are alive when we can right. experience pain something which cannot experience pain is something which is not alive yeah, like inanimate, inanimate objects like a rock, mm -hmm. but you can see uh, um, the uh, sentient being like a goat. You can see that is a aware being. You can see that it has feelings and it has and it feels pain, because those are sentient beings. Anyways, my sister, I'm looking for trouble today. <laughs> okay, no thank problem. you. Okay, I appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> There is no God, there never has been, there never would be. Wow. Listen, y'all, this narrative is here to stay. Okay. Okay. For if that's if that's your your story, and I'm gonna talk to you on a spiritual level. No, don't talk to me on the spiritual level. Please talk to me on the natural, real level. I'm gonna talk to you on a on a level that I understand and what I've experienced. Because when you say there's no God, there is a God. Um, in your, in your it's, imagination, sister. No, it's no not. Problem. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's you have things. imagined the God. I can acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. Whether in fact there is one, <laughs> I'm saying that there isn't. There's okay. nothing wrong with belief, you imagining a you. God. That I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to change you. What I'm trying to say is, is that everybody has a journey until they actually feel it. That's what you I'm saying. saying. Some people get to do something called imagining God. The okay. rest of us don't have to. There's a reason. Have Listen, you, everything have, a person does is out of necessity, okay? You need to imagine God because otherwise you might not be able to live your real. life. I know he's real. So You do not you do not you know. Okay, you know he's real? He? Yeah, I know it's real. Oh, it's real. God the creator. I know Jesus is real. He was a God, man God the on creator. Earth. All those adjectives and descriptive words. Where did you get those from? Okay. So 
Let me tell you a story. Tap the screen, um, tap the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, hold on one second me, before you tell me your story. Tap the screen, mm -hmm. tap the screen, tap the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Second. Let's get to 50,000 likes, y'all. That's how the algorithm works. I really appreciate it. All right, go ahead. Tell me your story. Wait, give me one second, okay? Hold on. Keep one asking. One second is over. I'm going to tell you the story. Give me one second, okay? I got to get my earphones. Over. Huh? No, if you get headphones, it's going to mess with the sound, sister. No, I, I could. I want to be able to emphatically tell you a story. So when everybody was going against Moses, and and I'm just talking to you. These are actual. Uh, this is not figuratively uh, figurative people, right? Moses was a real person. No, was Moses a was person. not a real person. Yes, he was. <laughs> Moses is a fictitious character so within Jewish Noah mythology. Wasn't a real person. Who? Moses wasn't a real person? No. Why do you say that? And He's he a, a fictitious a character movie. from Jewish mythology. It's not a he was not a mythical character. Yeah, the Jews had myths. He did not he was not a mythical character. He was an actual live person. No, ma'am. So so you think Jesus wasn't alive, a live person? Yeah, Jesus didn't exist either. No no oh, character in the Bible Jesus existed exists. in the real world. Okay. Yeah. All right. Listen. So I, I feel I feel right. How now, do you like, fail, my sister? Many, let me ask you a quick question, no, right? Let me let me just ask you something. Let me just ask you something. This is this is not in a biblical tense. That's why I said let me talk to you on a different level. People did not believe those things back then, what you're saying. And this is where I'm going with this. They did not believe in Jesus. They did not believe in Moses. They did not believe in certain other things. Noah. Noah built an ark, right? The end of time came and it washed away human life, right? No, Noah did not build an ark. Noah did build an ark. That's also a mythological story. It is not a mythological story. 100%. Where did the insects go? So let me ask you a question. So so, so, so if you read the book, did the book says that the insects, where did, he, where did the insects go? They all came onto the ark. Everything came onto the ark to create life over. Why? Give because me the chapter and verse where it says insects got on the ark. Everything. Living, How about the worms? Everything living. Came How about viruses, to bacteria, germs? The reason for that is. Let me ask you something. So, how do you expect? How do you explain how we got here? Give me an example. This is this is this, is this is this is the most honest answer I will give you. Let me just ask you. How did we get here? Yeah, yeah. Listen carefully. This is the most honest answer I will give you, and this is for any student that wants to get knowledge. I'm not okay? a student. Okay, that's why. Of, of course, you're not a student. That's why you know nothing. But listen carefully, sister. I do sister. know a lot. The wisest person is a person that can differentiate between what they know and what they don't know, what they can know and what they cannot know, either because they just don't have enough time to get no. that knowledge or they don't have the resources to get that knowledge, okay? No, as I far as the origins... resources to get the knowledge. And sister, not, sister, sister book, let me finish my answer. Feeling. Let me finish my answer. Okay. So okay, I, I actually been, listen, okay? Actually listen. Yeah, but you've been interrupting the, me and I haven't even had a chance to even give you... You asked me where we came from and I'm going to give you an honest answer. Okay. Just listen. Give me, give me an example. Okay, an I'm going to give you an honest answer. The wisest person is a person that knows the difference between what they know and what they don't know and they don't mix it up. Okay. Lest they be confused. Okay. A wise person will also know what they can know and what they cannot know. And then they will pursue what they can know. There are many reasons why a person might not be able to know something. They might just not have enough time, nor the resources, human resources or non-human resources. Okay. Hence, they prioritize. Now, as far as the origins of humanity, one thing is true. Just like most of the information in history or most of what has happened, it's a loss to time. Human beings can just speculate so about many things. Sister, let me finish talking. Human beings can just speculate. In 2024, the most accurate way of investigating things that we don't know is to follow a scientific process that is checked and balanced that by is, other minds no around us. Sir. That's debunked. There, you can't explain these things, and that is definitely debunked. Sister, sister give me a second. What did I say? I'm, hey, 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 I'm not a child. Not a child. No, I'm curious what I said because you're, you're responding to something that I didn't even say. No, but you're saying you're saying stuff that I said that has been debunked. I'm talking while well, you're speaking. Okay, what exactly did I say that has been debunked? So you're saying that um, how we got here is a scientific fact. And I'm saying... That's not what I said! You... 
You said you said this was a no. Scientific okay, fact. please. I'll, I'll, one more chance, sister. I'll repeat myself. I don't mind. Okay, please actually listen to me, and then honestly, to you. You talk critically me. understand what I'm saying, so you can give me an appropriate response. Okay, just listen again. The wisest person. Is a person mm -hmm. that knows the difference between what they know and what they don't know. Who can differentiate between what they can know and what they cannot know? There are many reasons why a person might not be able to know something. They might not have enough time to investigate and get to the point of knowledge, uncertainty, or they might not have the resources that allows them to gain that knowledge. So therefore, they prioritize what they can actually know and they go for it. Now, as far as human beings are concerned, a lot of information is lost to time, right? Nobody can even pinpoint, even scientifically, religiously, we can only really approximate many things, many things. But in 2024, the most accurate way of seeking knowledge is following the scientific mm -hmm. method. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Following the scientific method is the most accurate way, the most effective way of gaining information in 2024. So if we want to know where human beings come from, there is no logical or better way or more effective way than to continue down the scientific path until somebody shows that there is a more effective way. Religion, in fact, has proven itself ineffective because... I'm not talking about religion. Sister, religion sister let me guidance. go down. The, let me finish. All the religious narratives, not only do they contradict each other, they're mostly illogical. They're mostly superstitious. They're mostly mythological, right? You go to the Christians. They say that, oh, God made us. God said, let it be light. Light just popped out of nowhere. You go to the Babylonians. They say, oh, look, it was the Anunnaki that came from planet X. You go to the Muslims. They say, well, it was Allah, Hua Kuba, and his prophet Muhammad. You go to the Buddhists. They say, oh, look, there is really no God. There is only the yin and the yang. You go to the Hindu. The Hindus say it was Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, and Lord uh, uh, Vishnu. Who is it? What is let me, it? Let me, How is let me, it? Let me just tell we you can only know because, if we again, follow I, a scientific process. Okay, you and the scientific process. Again, you did not answer the question because, of, and um, you did not answer the question. And the the point the point that I'm trying to make is to you is that you go within yourself. You're all set on a journey, right here. That's already already created. Beyond There's no the journey. Well. There's no Stop. journey. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because here's the thing. I'm, 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 I'm glad that you're having a conversation because here's what, what happens. When you have doubt, there are things that help you along in life. Things just don't come to you on a scientific basis. They're actually projected. What you do today is a reflection of what thank you, you what Thank you. Thank tomorrow. you for the gift, Prism. You understand that, right? Keep talking. What you do today happens to you tomorrow. So everything that you're doing today will outline what happens to you tomorrow. That is that's, not, that's already written. So how do you that's explain bullshit. that? That's bullshit. You don't think so? The reason why I'm saying it's bullshit is because- you, Can I ask you just- see, No, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just ask you Hold up, hold up, hold up. The me, reason why I said it's bullshit is because it doesn't even apply to what we're talking about. Of course, the decisions that you make will influence the course of action that you take next, right? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. What? That's also a scientific statement. It's not anyway. scientific. There's nothing science about that. There's no S Sister, I'm that. really curious. I'm really curious because I detect. I, that. Sister, hold up. I detect some ignorance like my no, psychic I'm power my, my my telepathic power Ooh, is detecting some ignorance I i'm curious I'm, not I, even ignorant. <laughs> I'm curious what is science first of all science is something that man creates we're not talking about no 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 no, no, no. i didn't ask you who created science i'm saying what is science no no, no. that's a man-made creation what is science definition science is a, a scientific notion of what you create whether it's your mind your, i told you you were ignorant discovery of things like that that's sister, sister, one more chance, okay? And take a deep breath and then give me your most intelligent answer. To be honest, oh, I'm giving you an what intelligent answer. is you over here science? My answer. Sister, what is science with all due respect? What is life to you? Are we made from science? Sister, what is science? Are we made from science? Sister, I cannot talk to you about science if you don't know what it means. I do know what science means. Okay, then tell answer. me what is science? 
You're not talking religiously. You you're not even trying to be right. You just want to give me a definition of something that we should both know. No, what you is science? Be argumentative because you feel like you're right, and there. And I'm telling you from sister, my point, sister. You. I told you that I detected some ignorance. I'm thinking that you don't really you know what science is. Ignorance? Where are you getting that from? Okay, then what is science? I just gave you an example of what science is. I didn't ask you for an example of what science is. I asked you for the definition. I gave you the definition. Please stop yelling at me. Well, okay, what is the definition? I just gave you the definition of what science is. What is it? It's a man-made creation. Wow. For, so that is what you think science is? That is science. It's a creation. Hold on, hold on. Of so, 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 so that, that is what you think science is? You, you think so? When someone asks you what is science, it's a man-made creation. That's your most intelligent answer. Yes, because in a okay, then keep quiet. Let me tell you what science is. No, no, sister, 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 you've disqualified yourself. Let me tell you what uh, science is. I, I'll tell you what science is. Okay, listen uh, carefully. It's no. the systematic study of the physical and natural world. Through observation, comparing again, theories against evidence obtained. That is science. Again, again, you're reading it from Western. I just gave you an example. I'm not of reading anything. I'm not reading anything. I know the definition of my head because I don't like arguing about things that I don't know. Unlike you. Listen carefully. Science oh is the me. systematic <laughs> study. I'm going to pray for you, brother. The systematic study of you. the physical and natural world. I'm pray for okay. You, even if you're religious, you will still have to be naturally scientific, sister. Because religious people still have to study the Bible. Every time you're studying not, the Bible, you're being Bible. scientific. I'm not talking about the Bible. Every time you study yourself, you're being scientific. So you're taking and exactly what I science is you. the systematic study of the physical Could you and stop natural world. Just for a second and listen to regular term of what I'm telling you. Because who who's talking about Webster? No, I'm telling you, stop reading Webster's dictionary. What dictionary am I reading? What, 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 di what dictionary am I reading right now? I'm definitely not ignorant. What dictionary definitely am I reading right now? By a long shot. What dictionary <laughs> am I reading right now? From, but I know where I'm from. Sister, and, and what did it, you what, what did you get out of that definition that I gave you? Because, listen, I don't care what you're telling me in your definition. Because you're ignorant and you have no desire to know the truth. You're only looking for I, things I, that appeal to your feelings and your emotions. You're looking for, you're looking for you're emotional atheist. acknowledgement. You're, an you're emotionally unstable. You're an atheist? You're an atheist? I'm a realist. No, are you an atheist? I'm a realist. Are you an atheist? No. So how can you not be an atheist? Do you believe in something else, correct? I don't believe in anything. That's an atheist. No. That's the definition of not believing in anything. <laughs> no. Okay, so who's ignorant now? I bet you don't even know what an atheist is. What's an atheist? Oh, I do know what an What's atheist is. What's the definition of an atheist? Who doesn't believe in anything. No, that's not an atheist. You do not believe you can, in anything. You can have you someone who's agnostic. You can, have, you can have someone who's agnostic who doesn't also believe in anything. You are an atheist. Just say you're an atheist. Again, you can have someone who doesn't believe you, in anything who's also an agnostic. Deflecting. Sister, what is an agnostic? What is an agnostic? No, let me let me just ask you a question. What is an agnostic? I asked you a question. Answer my question. No, you can't hey, tell hey, me that. Hey, hey, I won't answer I your question, go, but let me ask you a question. I can't deal with somebody yelling at me like what that. What is an agnostic? Of course, because you're emotionally triggered. No, you're you're an idiot. You're ignoring my you're words an and the meaning of my words, and you're appealing to no, an emotional. You're an idiot. You sound dumb. Yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, you see what I'm saying? Why do you argue about things you don't know? How can I ask you what science is? And you say science is uh, uh, something that man created. The language you're speaking is something that man created. That's not the definition of it. It's okay to be religious, y'all. But when you're willingly ignorant, it smells. It stinks. The least you can do is educate yourself about things that are not necessarily polarized in any way. Knowing what science is doesn't make you less of a Christian or a believer. You should at least know what things are so you can have a conversation. Instead of trying to appeal to your feelings and your emotions. Most of you religious people are just looking for emotional validation. You just want your emotions and your feelings to be validated. You feel lonely and insecure within your own feelings and emotions. 
There is no God. There never has been. And there never would be. God is an imaginary character that you make up in your head. If you know that, then there's no problem. You can believe whatever, whoever, what, however you want. You can make up whatever God you want to make in your head. I'm just telling you that that's what you're doing. God is only real in your head as an imaginary character. The God that you have in your head is not the same God that other people have in their heads, okay? There's no two people in this world that have the same God in their head. There are no two people. There are no two humans in this world that got the same God in their heads. Hello? What up, man? All right, so how do you, like how do you think this world could just be created so perfect like let's say the expansion of the universe was just a little faster no galaxies would even be able to form and if it was slower then like the world would collapse before stars were even formed like the universe that's what i mean you made a whole bunch of assumptions no, it's true, and also it's because you made gravity. a whole bunch of assumptions. Not only did you claim that the world was perfect, the world is perfect for who? For white people? The world is perfect for what? white people? Do you so know that there's some people who are suffering in this we're world? Bringing, we're arguing about religion, not race. No, no, no. I'm asking you. I'm curious because what? you said it was perfect. It's perfect for who? For that homeless guy in the street who don't have food to eat? For that mother who is in Israel or Lebanon who just got bombed? The world is perfect for who? I mean, he has a life. You must have a very twisted idea of perfection. So how do you believe we got here? We're still investigating in order to come to a conclusive answer. There are many theories, re including religious ones and scientific ones. But the, mo the, the easiest ones to investigate are the scientific ones. The religious ones are most of the time just exaggerations and mythologies born out of people's ignorance and feelings and emotions. So uh, I just want to know what your, th your thoughts are on how we got here. My thought is that we're still investigating. I'm not the type of person that forces myself to claim that I know something which is not known yet. I can give you a speculation. First of all, how we got here, there's nothing that suggests that we even got here. Everything suggests is that we are here, we are from here. So whatever here is, this is where we originate. So it's not like we came from somewhere else. Then suddenly we were here. No. Well, you realize... And also, you cannot... You cannot trace the origins of humanity without going into the details of what fundamentally makes us human. And we're literally still in the process of learning exactly what makes us human. We haven't mastered our humanity yet. So talking about its origins is a waste of time for someone who's intelligent. Right now, our primary focus is to understand ourselves. Why do we get sick? Why do we die? Okay, what can we do about it? How do we live longer? How do we make sure people don't go hungry? When we solve all those problems, then we can begin to entertain questions that won't even change our reality, like where did we come from? If we suddenly know where we came from, what's going to change about our day-to-day -day struggles? Well, I just know that something just can't, it can't come from nothing. Like, where do we if get If something all the cannot come from nothing, where did your God come from? God has been here for eternity. That's what I literally said about the world. The one thing that we know is that we are here. It doesn't suggest that we came from anywhere. As far as your God, you have to make up this imaginary idea where your God didn't come from anywhere in your head to feel secure. You said something cannot just come from nothing. Then you're excluding your God. Think about it, bro. Why are you excluding right, your God? So where do we get because it's convenient for you. And molecules. Where do we get all this stuff from? We're still it's investigating. Like we, we, we are still so. investigating. There's no need to speculate. Follow the scientific process. If you make an experiment that gives you, a, a, that points you, uh, exposes a certain truth, share the experiment with us and let's independently put it to practice. And if we get the same results as you, bro, then what you've said is true. But if you're just going to tell me a story based on your feelings and your emotions, you're just wasting time, man. If it was up to you, you would still be riding horses and donkey. People who think like you, that's the best that they were able to accomplish. You have to have a healthy scientific mind. One that allows so you to study. You know one that allows real. you to correct mistakes. How do you know that Jesus isn't real and God isn't real? There was no letter J 2,000 years ago, so there couldn't have been anyone called Jesus 2,000 years ago. Well, it's kind of a translation. Like, translation? Why do you need to translate? Do you translate Trump's name when you say his name in Spanish? You still say Donald Trump, don't you? Why do you have to translate a name? At the very best, you can transliterate a name, but why do you have to translate a name? A name is I just mean, a sound for identification, whether the sound has Obviously, meaning or not. English. They obviously didn't have English back then. Okay, the so, so, okay, what was the original name? Of Jesus? 
I don't speak other languages. Yeah, because you're ignorant. You don't know what you're talking about. All right. Do you know that but if you were to translate Jesus, Jesus if you were, if you were to translate it, then like, it's listen, the same way if you were to translate the Hebrew name, documents and evidence bro, to back it up. If you were to translate the Hebrew scripture. name, if you were to translate the Hebrew name Yeshua, you get Joshua in English, not Jesus. Jesus is a completely different character. The translation for the name of whoever would have existed, who was called Yeshua, is Joshua. Joshua. That's the translation of the name of that character, if that character had even existed. The name Jesus is just a completely different entity. But Bro, you will know, I know that. that Jesus, I know Jesus is real the same way I know George Washington was the first president. Documents. You like know Jesus is real the like same way that you know Santa Claus is real. What they witnessed. 500 people witnessed You, you know that Jesus is real the same way that you know Santa Claus is real. Stop lying. Well, how do you know other people are real? Like, how do you know John F. Kennedy was real? You have documents that prove so. It's like kind of how the Bible did, is. Did John F. Kennedy die for our sins? Witnesses, like, let's say Paul, I think we'll be perfectly fine John, if John... I think Luke. we'll be perfectly fine if John F. Kennedy wasn't real. I think life would just continue anyways. It's not like John F. Kennedy is claiming to have died for our sins that we must worship him. Nah, none of that bullshit. Yeah, so if you don't want... If you want to believe that John F. Kennedy wasn't real, feel free. Well, I'm There's not no saying John F. Kennedy is important to Jesus. I'm saying that we know Jesus is real the same way we know people like him existed because of just documents. Okay, if Jesus was real, was he black or white? He was neither. He was I rest my Eastern. case. If you knew the history of the Middle East, you would know that 2,000 years ago, everyone that lived in that area that you call Israel was melanated. And then those who were not were the Greeks and the invaders, okay? That was Africa. You don't know that history. How would you know? How would Jesus you know? Jesus was Jewish. If, they, if there were any Jews in that area, that were indigenous in that area, they would have to have been black. It's not just, it's not, it's not, it's even before the Arabs came and took over North Africa and the Middle East. Even the original Arabs, okay, were dark-skinned people. The world has changed a lot in 2,000 years. It's like you asking, hey, were the Native Americans black or white? They were white, right? The Native Americans are not white people. White people immigrated to this land. Now they're the majority. Even Mexicans and Hispanics, they're not the indigenous people of the land. They are descendants of the indigenous because they're mixed, but they have European blood in them. The demographics have changed a lot as technology has improved, as medicine has improved, as human beings have intermingled. 2,000 years ago, that whole geographical area was Negroes. All right, so what about when Jesus resurrected and appeared in front of witnesses? Yeah, Superman resurrected too. Good job. Thank you for your time, bro. I mean, that people had seen Jesus resurrect. Yeah, was it your grandfather that saw it? I mean, witnesses, just like we know all yeah, these which other people. Give me the name of one witness that saw Jesus resurrect. People witnessed it. Give me one, one witness that you know that saw Jesus resurrect. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I Name mean, one witness. Yeah, to yeah. That there were also I witnesses that saw Santa Claus flying through the sky last Christmas. I never met the people, but it has been documented. Documented by who? By the Jesus. people who saw it? Thank you for your time, what? bro. I appreciate you, okay? There is no God, there never has been, there never would be. If you want to believe no, in God, sir, you must understand you one thing. You are making it up in your head. Once you understand that God is something you are making up in your head, then you can do whatever you want to do. He's what a up, real man? person, brother. In your imagination, brother. Nah, that's not true, bro. Let me ask you something, bro. If, if God was just an imaginary character, you still wouldn't like God? What do you mean by that? If God was just something that you imagine in your head, you wouldn't like it? He's not an imagination to begin with, bro. No, 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 no. If God was just an imaginary character in your head, would you not like or believe him? So if God was just an imaginary character, then we wouldn't have any objective morality. There's no all. such thing as we objective morality. There's no such thing as objective morality. The moment you open your mouth to talk about morality, you've already made the, everything you're coming out of your mouth subjective. The most that it could be is common with what somebody else says. So we can have common morality. Objective morality is 
is always going to be subjective to the human beings who are claiming that's objective. Until the goats come and tell us that, hey, human morality so also applies to us. One, bro? Say that again. I say that, do you believe that one plus one? I don't need to believe that one two. plus one. I simply need to understand why one plus one is two. One plus one is two doesn't require belief. You see, that's why I say your religion has jacked up your brain. So does it It's a matter of understanding, not a matter of belief. Not everything in this world is a matter of belief. Some things you just need to understand, whether you believe it or not. You calm down right quick, but just give me one second. Okay, so can you demonstrate x plus x equals 2x the reason why because of course of, of course of lot. course of course so, it depends so like, again the again the again mm -hmm. again first of all when you're dealing with mathematics you're dealing with principles if you just ask me a random so is it logic listen again listen again all right go ahead go ahead brother if you just tell me x plus x equals to 2x, I will have to go into my understanding of mathematical principles. So my assumption, unless I'm wrong, you have to correct me, is that you're talking about basic arithmetic, and then you go on into algebra, right? That's when you start talking about unknown values, x. So if x really represents just a single x, you add it to another single x, you get two of right. whatever x is. But now, if, you, if, if x is defined as four, then you take that x, and you add it to another x, which is defined as 4, then you will get 8 when you add both. Mathematics works together with principles. What you're talking about when you say 1 plus 1, I think you're referring to basic arithmetic. Yeah, so, um, so, so you're making it seem like that's just subjective when it is. I mean, it's obvious that it's objective, but you're trying to... You're trying no, to it's not objective it's, because 1 plus 1 is not always 2. Wait, what? In a binary code, one plus one. Bro, you think that people who code computers use the same arithmetic that you use? Bro, do Have you, you ever heard of imaginary numbers? Bro, why do you think... Hold do on, bro. Do you know what you're hold, applying, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a quick question. You're What's just, the difference between algebra and arithmetic? Up... No, answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. If you can't answer this question, then let's not even talk about mathematics. What's the difference between algebra and, and arithmetic? You're gonna have to educate me on now, bro. Yeah, I rest my case. No, I'm not educating. Go ahead and educate wait, yourself. Wait, 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 listen, wait. listen, 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 bro. Listen, bro. If you really okay, care, okay? If you really care, go and educate yourself, bro. What's the difference between algebra one and algebra two? I I really don't know. What's the difference between trigonometry and geometry? Uh um tr trigonometry talks about um you see what you're attempting to do? You're trying to explain the principles. There are different principles that govern mathematics as a whole. Hence, we divide it into different subjects. What does that have? To... Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, bro. Please tell me what does that have to do? That means that you can get different mathematical principles that work under different algorithms. For example, the governing algorithm that governs our basic mathematics is arithmetic, right? And we begin by learning the very basics. One plus one is two. One times so one where is does what? That all come from, bro. We make it up. Okay. So we decide. We decide so, what the values okay. are. We decide what the so values are. And the, the reason why it's good is because we design it in a way that works for us, in order for us so to interact with up. the external world that is outside of us. Right. 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 Okay. So if okay. So if so if we make it up and it is our um subjective in your view then it wouldn't be true bro but it is true bro are you, you on something demonstrate it, bro. are you on something <laughs> just because we're the ones who made something up doesn't mean it doesn't work we make cars and they work just fine the difference between this and that and you said in my own something bro what are you talking about you just asked me what's the difference between arithmetic and 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 uh and algebra, what does that have to do with what I asked you? Bro, you all right? I'm blessed, bro. You're blessed with what? I'm blessed with the Holy Spirit. Something that you need, bro. I, I get I get why your brain's fucked up. 
I have a speech impediment. So no, I'm not talking about your speech impediment. I'm understanding you just fine. It's just that you're not coherent with your reasoning. Okay, it's okay to have a speech impediment. What's the difference? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So you asked me what's the difference between arithmetic and algebra. I uh, didn't have an answer for you, but that still doesn't like that still doesn't have to do with subjective and objective truth. What's the difference between subjective and objective truth? That was the first point. What's the difference between subjective and objective truth? So subjective truth, that's a personal... That's a personal opinion, something that can or not be true. Something that could be neutral and objective. That's the absolute truth. Rather, we uh, how do you know? Other. How do you know it's the absolute truth? Are you absolute? The absolute? Are you absolute? The absolute truth. Because are you God absolute? Are you are you absolute? God. Only an absolute, absolute person truth. can stand up and vocalize that something is absolute because they themselves, by nature, are absolute. You're not absolute. That's not true, brother. God is absolute. And you know that how? Because I read the Bible. I right, rest my case. I told, you, you, I told you something was fucked up with your way of thinking. Thank you for your time, bro. You should watch that's me more and you will learn opinion, something, brother. okay? That's Thank a you personal for your time, opinion, brother. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. And Donald Trump bless You're you. You're right with Christ, bro. Yeah, you get right with Joe Biden. Get right with Christ, bro. Get 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 right with Joe Biden too. Joe Biden loves you, okay. I wonder if he would die for your sins. People that are out here throwing Jesus loves you as if he has no value, like it's a charity thing. How about you give me money? Hmm? A Christian will a Christian will be so quick to tell you that Jesus loves you. They believe that Jesus is more valuable than money. But if you ask them for money, they won't give it. Eh? Which one is more valuable? What's up, man? What's up, J-Mo? <clears throat> Hi. Hey, what what's got? going on, man? Uh, this is a, a, an interesting topic I like to I like to um, indulge in once in a while. So, uh, so just, just for starters, I'm not here to uh, convince you of anything. I'm not here to convince you about... Religion, nothing like that. I just want you to think. I want. I want to tell you what how I think, and maybe if, if it makes sense to you, it does. If not, then whatever. So, creator or not creator? Um, I'm a, is it safe to assume that you believe that there is no creator? The Big Bang theory, evolution. That's where you. That's where you um, uh, gravitate. Creating is a word that human beings describe to use to describe things that they make with their hands. It doesn't really apply outside of human ingenuity. Okay, that's fair. Fair to say. <clears throat> so, so my 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 problem with, with with this is like when you look at the evidence of uh of how the world works and how um the government the power and and the, and the people and how it all works. Um, the way I look at it, uh, it it it's more beneficial for for the people that are for for the entities for the government. Let's say the people that are in charge of everything. I I believe it's more beneficial for them for us to believe that we are meaningless, that we are here by accident, that there is no creator, that we're nope, not special. Nope, nope. If we actually believe like that, the government wouldn't be able to control us. Then everybody would just do what they want. But the government well, actually needs for us to have a centralized I, 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 belief I, I, system. I disagree with that, actually. Think about it, bro. Think about it. A puppet master, a puppet master that has no direct links to the mind and to the limbs and to the body of its puppet cannot control those puppets, okay? The government actually prefers when we have certain ideas that we collectively believe. So as long as they control the narrative of that idea, so they can control us. So you don't think that... Um, okay, okay, okay. So, so, you, so you don't think that um, that the people that believe that after death they're, they'll be in heaven with, with God and, 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 and they actually, well, like people that believe in that, they welcome death. They're, we could say that they're fearless in a sense. No, they're not fearless. That, they're not fearless. You don't think so? You don't Hell think so? no. People but, who believe that they're going to you know, spend like, heaven with God are lazy people who don't like to work, who just want somebody else to do everything for them. Anybody who is seduced by the idea of going to heaven is a lazy person who doesn't like to do, suffer, do you, do who doesn't like to experience pain. Do you know that it's been it's been proven uh, by, through research that Christian people that believe in a creator that believe that they will be going to heaven after death they suffer less 
of anxiety and depression than the than the opposite. The, that's, that's a lie. It's, it's, that's it's a, a lie. Real, what study is no, that? No, no, what study is that? It's 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 been proven. It's it's a research that it hasn't been proven. Like bro, that. bro, bro, bro. Bro, there is nobody that actually knows for a fact that they're going to heaven, bro. That's why they need faith because they don't actually know it's for faith. sure. Exactly. Keyword. Keyword faith. Faith. Bro, faith you is even know, faith strong. is just pretending that you know something that you don't know. But it's mind. It's 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 all with the mind. You're right. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, mind. listen. People, faith. people who depend on faith is the same as the person who depends on his alcoholic drink. It's like the person who de get it. depends on his substance to make himself high. I get, I get it. Uh -huh. I get it. But 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 the, uh, faith in a god is is less is less harmful than than faith in alcoholic. Do we agree? No, 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 <laughs> no. Because uh, when you're under the influence of anything, even if it's just an idea, you, you're not sober minded. You make dumb decisions. That's why you, that's why religious people and people who have such beliefs are allergic to change. When the world begins to change, you know, especially social changes, they're the most allergic. Think about it, man. When we were getting ready to get rid of slavery in America, yeah. though there were some Christians who were also advocating to end slavery, the vast majority of religious people were for it. They didn't see any reason why, because their religion was used to justify it. So, yeah, that's horrible. Going yeah, against it was going against their religion. Such people, that, that belief destroys their ability to critically think. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's always them who are against changes. For example, for me, where I'm from in Africa, and my personal views, I'm not really like for LGBT, but I don't also think that there's no place in this world for them. You know what I'm saying? I think that they can have their way of living as long as it doesn't directly affect me or maybe even my children. Of course. I don't care. Of course. Why? Because of it's course. not directly harmful to me. So just like the Muslim can do his thing and the Christian does his thing, those people can do their thing. But who's mostly always against that? Who's always mostly against it? Christian. When, 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 when integration came and, and black people, they were suggesting that black people should go to white schools. Was it not the religious Christian conservative Americans who were mostly against it? Oh, 100%. Okay, when you go to the Middle East, who is who's strapping himself up and, and lighting himself up, hoping to go and get 27 virgins? Is it is religious it a non-believing Arab? So strong. Do, 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 religious do, do, do beliefs, bro, you keep that? you grounded in a belief see, system that's what, that's what and it doesn't allow you to change with the time. When indeed changing with the time is the way that human beings survive, we survive by do you adapting. See how powerful faith is. Do you see how powerful faith is that people strap, people do these crazy things because they're not afraid of the outcome. They believe that they're going to a better place. That's if called delusional paranoia, bro. It's schizophrenia. Let's, let's it's think, a mental illness. So let's think. Let's 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 see if everybody in the world had that same mentality. Would, 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 would the elites have so much power over us? Of course. Because the elite believe in divide and conquer. <laughs> Use your brain. That's exactly... But you're kind of proving my point. You're, you're let, kind of proving my let, point. Bro, let me show you something. Let me show you something, okay? Contrary to what you've said, that... Hold on. One second. Mm -hmm. Contrary to what you've said, that without believing in God, we're just meaningless, that just shows me that you're fundamentally ignorant on how human beings get meaning. When a child is born, that child has no meaning on the day he's born. That child would find meaning through the experiences that that child has in life. That's why people who struggle through conditioning. in their infancy... It's not a matter yeah, of conditioning. It's, 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 I, I have given it to you. I've given it to you as simply as I can without you having to go to any specific angle. As you are born, you have no specific meaning on the day you're born. You find meaning in different ways, shapes, or forms, whether it's conditioning, indoctrination, education, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, through experiences. When we understand that individually, in the grand scheme of things, we're just like a grain of sand. We're going to find meaning by seeking bond. That's actually what we observe. The reason why human beings seek relationship is because when we are left to ourselves, there's no meaning. So we find meaning by it's bonding empathy. with each other. It's we, we, we what's around it's us, empathy. right? We seek meaning by looking left and right to see what we have in common with anything that is around us. And then we form within that relationship, 
we find pleasure, we suffer together, we enjoy together, and then when we die, we cry together. But the moment you convince someone that there is a heaven, where if you follow this route, you're going to go there, then that person can no longer find meaning by bonding with those who are around them, because guess what? It's my soul or the world. That's why, especially Christianity, preaches against bonding with the world. It says the world is passing away. Do not be unequally yoked with those who don't believe like you. In fact, it has all these derogatory terms that it refers to people that have a different mindset. Whereas, someone who is a Muslim find, found meaning through the experiences that they had because they were born in a predominantly Muslim place. How then can yeah, you justify so them going to hellfire just because they were not born where you were born? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to bring up religion because uh, uh, I, I was just... You cannot talk like about God like, without bringing up religion, bro. That's the delusion that many religious people on TikTok who come and do debates have. I have to take into consideration your personal beliefs, okay? When I'm having an argument with you. Because the moment I see you arguing and using ideas and using points that go against what you personally believe, I can already tell you this, you're dishonest. If you're a Christian, well, no. you... Should, you Listen, bro, if you're a Christian, your Christianity should be good enough for you to defend God as a Christian. If you're a Muslim, your Islam should be good enough for you to defend God as, as, uh, as a Muslim. If you, have to now to defend, if you have to now defend a generic God and then exclude God is just, your God personalized is just God, to, something is yeah. wrong. The word God is just a word, is just a word that they made up uh, to, uh, to, to define uh, a creator. That's why I said specifically a bro, creator. Bro, bro, actually, actually, you're wrong. The word God is not always synonymous to creator. In its origins, it is actually synonymous to governor, right? That's why polytheism is older than theism. The idea of one God being the originator and controller of everything is a relatively new idea. In the inception yeah. of the word God, the word God was like the word king. It just means ruler. Yeah. So guess what? Yeah. No, no, listen, listen, listen. The ruler of something is not always the creator of that thing. So yes, that idea itself, in its origins, from as far back as possible, right? The god of agriculture is not the creator of agri agriculture. It's just the most knowledgeable person, entity, when it comes to agriculture. Somebody else could totally have created agriculture. But then that person is no longer available to us. So we go to the person that's most knowledgeable, and that's the god of agriculture. The god of war doesn't have to be the one who created war. Guess what? He's just the best warlord you know what i'm saying so we go to that person yeah, yeah. so the idea of god and its association with one singular creator is a very brand new idea that has been made most popular by islam and christianity in fact in hinduism yeah, yeah. hinduism which is the oldest religion in the world yeah, the creator yeah. god the creator is not god the destroyer neither is it god the preserver brahma is the creator no i think vishnu <laughs> no no brahma is the creator in hinduism Okay, and then yeah. and then and then Vishnu is the preserver. So somebody else creates, somebody else preserves, and somebody else destroys. And then every time somebody destroys, the person who creates uses that raw material to create again. And then the other person who preserves preserves again. That's the that's the Hindu Trinity. That's actually very consistent yeah, with yeah. what we see. Yes, the yeah. oldest um, major religion in the world today is Hinduism. It's not Christianity. It's not Islam. It's not Judaism. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about religion. That's good, man. It was nice talking to you, bro. Have a good night, man. Guess what, brother? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. You have been back angalized. Thank you for your time. <laughs> yes, yes. If you want to talk about God, but you don't want to talk about religion, something's not right with you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror. Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen. Let's get to 100,000 likes. If you want to talk about God, but you don't want to talk about religion, you are conceding our point. You are conceding our point. Okay? Religion and God are like boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife. You cannot divorce those two. The moment you divorce those two, we know there is a disagreement. And you're trying to play both sides. Prayer is talking to yourself. Every time you pray, you're just talking to yourself. Oh. There is no one hearing you. If there's no other human beings in that room, no one else is hearing you. If you know that, then you can keep talking to yourself. No problem. Keep praying. Maybe you just need to hear yourself out loud. Maybe you just need to repeat things that you already know.
Not only is prayer talking to yourself, even if there was a God, praying to God is a waste of time because you're just telling God what God already knows. He's not going to change what he's going to do because you asked him to. Unless you're claiming that God is your puppet. That's what you religious people need to understand. If God is already praying that he's going to do something for you 10 years from now, no amount of prayer that you're going to pray is going to make God do it 5 years from now instead of 10 years from now. Nobody had to pray for your God to create the world. Did anyone have to pray for your God to create the world? You think you have to pray for him to manage the world. It's be, the reason why y'all think that prayer works is because you've created a God in your image. You've created a God which is just an idea that is supposed to give you emotional validation whenever you are overwhelmed by life. This is the truth. That those who have ears hear the words of Bakanga and let them be Bakangalized. Hey, Coco. Hello, my friend. <clears throat> Hello, my friend. What's up? I'm I'm good. <clears throat> uh, I, I want to apologize in advance uh, for my English because uh, it's a little bit rusty. I haven't so used don't it apologize. in a while. Just go straight to your point. Okay. Uh, what do you have to gain from uh, your rhetoric? What what uh, what? We'll get sober-minded, quickly thinking humans. The more people understand what? what I'm saying, the more we're going to have sober-minded, critically thinking humans. And we will be able to change and adapt and accommodate everybody in the world. And we'll be able to eventually live much happier with each other. That's, that, that, that is false. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you about prayer in, in the first uh, place. Uh, prayer oh, you is want not, you want to talk to uh, me? You want to talk to me about talking to yourself? Yes. No, no, no. We, that's your opinion. It's uh, not an opinion. It's a fact. You can't prove no, to me no, that no, when you're praying, you're talking to somebody. It's not a fact. It is a fact. Because prayer is not. It's an observable fact. Yeah, uh, I think I think your audience knows your opinions. You, do you want? Do you care to to hear another opinion? I'm talking to you. Okay. Do you want to hear uh, what uh, is prayer in reality? Prayer in reality is talking to yourself. I don't have the need to hear it. I can that, observe that it myself. That is your opinion. Do you want to hear It's not my opinion. opinion. It's a fact. Okay. You know what? How about you just demonstrate? No, pray a, right now. Hold on. Pray right now. Bro, bro. Listen. Let's not, let's not even argue, okay? Argument okay. is not really good for you and I. Pray right now and then show us okay. how you're talking to somebody else. No, because prayer is uh, it's something intimate. It's not something public to do with uh, with you. Bro, and that's what I said. That, it's intimate believe. because you're talking to yourself. Okay, that that is your your opinion. But I want that to, is a I fact. To, how uh, how about tell you? So you, so, that you don't hold, know. Hold, hold, hold up, brother. Are you I a Muslim or a Christian? Something. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? Okay. No, I'm a Christian. Okay. Did Jesus not used to pray in public? No, he said, uh, "Close yourself in your room and pray to the Father from the from the heaven." Did Jesus not used to pray in front of other people? Yes, he used to pray. For okay, I, I need for you to pray right now, please. Go ahead, just just pray, pray right now, and then prove to others you're praying to somebody while you're praying. We want to observe. I, I, I don't, I, I I don't do prayer in English usually, and. Uh, Hey, you, can do do you can do it. You can do it in whatever language you want the... to. Just prove to us that somebody is hearing you. But uh, <laughs> that, it doesn't work like that. I can't prove to someone. Brother, uh, do you know why you can't prove to us? Because me. listen, bro. The reason why you can't prove because what we are observing is exactly what's happening. You're talking to yourself. We can observe you. We literally see you. All the time. Even when we come to your churches, we come to your secret place, you are just talking to yourself. And we don't even think there's anything wrong with talking to yourself. What we think is wrong is that you're talking to yourself while pretending that you're talking to somebody else. And you keep doing it over and over, so, expecting different results. Okay, and what, what, what is the problem with that? What, what, what is your problem? In the, the problem in that with sense? that is that that is madness. That's a mental issue. <laughs> That's promoting the, delusional paranoia. You're promoting schizophrenia. We, we're trying to get everyone to be mentally healthy. Okay. 
Yes, bro. I walk down the street all the that time here in the California, bro, and I see people punching the air like they are on some type of substance, bro. You see them fighting. Mm, 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 mm. You know, the other day I was okay, driving, that... I saw a black guy with his pants. His pants was almost as his knees. He's wearing the, the, the dirtiest underwear I've ever seen. And he was just punching, man. He was fighting somebody. You know, he was just like... Mm, and, mm, 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 and you mm. think that is prayer? You think that is prayer? I'm telling you that people who pray are doing exactly the same thing as that madman that I saw in the street. Your opinion, again, your opinion. It's a fact. It's an observable We're... fact, bro. Okay. We don't observe okay. you talking to anyone. How can it just be an opinion, bro? I don't see who you're talking to. You don't see who you're talking to. There's no... The person you're talking to doesn't talk back. There's no confirmation. You're just repeating over and over and over and over. Let me give you an example. For, the, for example, the Lord's Prayer, right? Our Father who had in heaven. My first question is, you have a Father who's in heaven? Isn't your Father the man who impregnated yes. your mother? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on uh, earth as it is in heaven. Let, Who the let, heck are you talking to? You're just professing. Let's see it's, it's like a mantra. What do you think is the origin of, of life? Nothing? Heaven? Testicles. Testicles. Th that, hmm? Testicles. No, 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 no. The first man, the first uh, being on this which, planet. Which first man? Where, where which it first came man? From? We, we, our knowledge has not yet brought us to the point where we can conclude that there was a first man. <laughs> okay, but tell me what is the origin of life? We're still investigating. That's what I'm saying. Our knowledge is not yet at the point where we can say that there was a first man. Because the idea of a first man right now doesn't make sense. Let me tell you why. Okay, the, the first cell. <laughs> Take it how you want it, but okay, but yeah. The what first do you cell, believe, you believe, yeah. For the first cell, okay. no, 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 no. As far as the first cell, we're still investigating. There's many theories, and the evidence is pointing out down and uh, the idea that the evidence shows us how that cell developed and changed throughout time, but it doesn't tell us where it came from. Oh, okay, so uh, we don't have a creator. That's what the evidence suggests. There's no evidence that there is a creator. You need evidence to see a creator. You, you, when you see a computer, you, you think uh, you, you need evidence to, to know that someone built it. Yeah, there's always the address and ways to contact the manufacturer imprinted on it directly and then you can go and interact with the manufacturer that's what you, don't, you find in the human you, being. You, you find, don't, you, you find you don't, the address you don't, you don't, to, you don't the need creator. to make any assumptions. Because human beings have rational minds and something rational cannot come from something unrational. So where did God come from? <laughs> That's a stupid question. If oh, he's a creator of all things... Hold up, hold up. That, you said that something rational. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you said, you you said something hear. You said something rational cannot come from something not rational. So where did God's okay. rational mind come from? Who is God's father? He, if he's the creator of all things, yeah, he, just because somebody created a computer doesn't mean that that person doesn't time. have a creator. Hey, 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 you, you use a computer, right? Just because somebody makes a car doesn't mean that that person themselves doesn't have a father and a mother. You get it? So, being a creator doesn't mean that you don't have origins. That's a stupid way of thinking. Who's God's father and okay, mother? Okay, okay, but if you if you think like that, you, you who will, is uh, God's you father and God? God's mother? Just tell me, you either know or you don't know. You can just say you don't know. Ma no, no, that is playing stupid. <laughs> uh -huh. that do you do you know do you do you know why you think it's stupid, bro? It's it's stupid because it, it doesn't have any sense what you what you are saying. Do, do you know do you know why it doesn't have sense to you? Because you are making it stupid. No, you because you like stupid. talking to yourself. You have a mental illness. Okay, okay, my God, uh, we have uh, uh, we have people that have lots of studies and lots of uh, I, I don't know how to express myself uh, don't worry don't worry have, have, i'll help uh, you out i'll help you out you want to know what that are in the higher class of society and that are listen, praying listen to, to me God. brother listen to me brother and and brother and think that they are uh, they have uh, the, uh, mental diseases my, my brother mental illness how, how? My, my brother okay my brother yes you have been back thank you for your time okay <laughs> okay. Bye. Being a creator and not having an origin is the
the dumbest shit that a religious person can say. It is better that you say you don't know where God came from, y'all. It is better. It is so much more smarter if you just said, I don't know where God came from. The moment you stand in the absolute claim that just because God would have had to be the creator, that means that God himself was not created. You expose yourself as an unintelligent domestic human. You are under the influence of human domestic syndrome. You are living on somebody's farm. Soon to be used as meat at somebody's feast. Bakanga, how's it, brother? I'm all right. How about you? Been, been a long time, bro. I miss you, man. You know how it is, bro. Man, when you coming back to Hawaii, man? Shoot. I'm supposed to come this month. Come on. Come on. I'm out here. So, but for tonight, I'm going to get on your ass, and I'm about to bakangalize your ass. Right all right. Give me a second. Let me get my charger. You ready? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What do you think? Yeah, man, trying to bacangalize the bacangalizer. <laughs> you know what that's called? I gotta get you, man. I gotta that's get called, you. That's called that's called Mission Impossible. Go ahead. Oh, really? Unless, unless you're Tom Cruise, you 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 about to be reorganized and. Hey, man. Say, you know man. Hey, I'm about to wash you up real quick. I'm about to wash you right, up. Go real ahead. Quick. Go ahead. Look, go ahead. look. I think I think that the premise of your argument. And I, I noticed you must have saw one of my comments or something because you said something really uh, significant and saying that making an argument about God and saying trying to separate that from religion is not a correct argument to make. And I 100 percent disagree with you. Um, I think that you can make the argument about God for the definition of what God is in separation of what it means to a religious person. But that's what's you called what being I mean? religious. That that in of itself is called being religious. Only a person. I, that, I, 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 listen, I think that's listen, incorrect. listen. I think that's incorrect. Only a person who's religious attempts to define God. No, because God is an English word and it has a definition. So yeah, I don't is, have to. Okay, okay, good. What's the definition of God in English? De define something. What? What's the definition of God in English? Okay, we can pull it up. Yeah, you can pull it up. You know you have it. You know you have it. And so basically, let's just you know what I'm gonna put it out here. Read you word for word, so you yeah, don't pull think... it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. And we can go to the. I think it's either the second or the third definition that 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 gives you a definition uh, in lieu of religion that has nothing to do separate of religion, but what uh, uh, any religious uh, organization would try to describe God as. Check this out. Check this a, out. Check this out. Go ahead. Go ahead. The word God is a noun. Mm-hmm. First definition, in Christianity and other monotheistic mm -hmm. religions, the right. creator, the ruler of the universe, and the source of all moral authority, the supreme being. So it okay. specifically says in Christianity or other monotheistic religions. Now, the second right. definition says, in certain other religions, a superhuman being or spirit worshipped as having power over nature or human fortune, a deity. Okay. Now... There's no other definitions. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, there, there are other definitions, and I know you know that. Okay, I think and then had this conversation similar before. words is deity, goddess, divine being. And then right. a sub point under the second definition says an image, idol, animal, or other objects worshipped as divine or symbolizing a god. The, another sub point says used as a conventional personification of fate. The third definition says an adored, admired, or influential person. And then, okay. the, and then the informal definition says the gallery in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> a you see, you see, you see okay, what I'm saying? So, so, all right. So, so let me take you. So, obviously, you you know your stuff, and and I know that because I watch you often. We've talked before, but what I will say is this: I mean, we understand history, 
and we understand uh, uh, what has been going on through history throughout the span of time. When uh, one culture or one tribe takes over another tribe and then their beliefs are uh, placed upon that tribe, we have destroying of, of libraries. We have an Oxford, Oxford Dictionary definition uh, as our canon is what we think, but there are other definitions in other places to speak. But be, be, you, Before you continue, a, let me ask you a quick question about that statement. You said we Go understand ahead. history. You said that, right? We do. What is the first thing we understand about history before we go into everything else about history? What's the first thing we understand about history? That it can be fallible based on the recording. Not just based on the recording, based on what else? The person. Motivated by? Motivated by... Uh, 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 motivated by the... Uh, the... the, the the way of conquering another people or a uh, religion control listen control. in the hands of those who rule the world controlling historical narrative is actually one of their biggest tools of control hence Correct. there's this common saying that says history is written by the winners of war we Correct. know for sure that history doesn't tell us the truth it only tells no. us some of it this but is why I wanted to have a conversation with you because you know that. We also know that history gets, gives us a lot of lies. Hence, exactly. we have to compare what we learn from history with what we are currently experiencing in order to come to certain conclusions. Yeah. And so that's why I wanted to have the conversation with you because we got to start here at the okay, definition Coco. of God. You know what these religions are describing, right? Basically, all of the religions currently that we're that we're that we're well versed in, and we have history of, and things that we can take note of, and try to take a de de definition from. When you pull that definition of the word God, especially, it, it, it leaned more heavily towards religious ideologies. When you and I both know what they're really trying to explain, and what they're trying to explain is there being uh, a, a a specific being or entity that created mankind, this life, our reality, or, or has some power over I slightly beg really to differ. I slightly beg to differ. I okay, think okay. that- Okay, well, tell me why you differ on that. So, human beings learn by imitation. Mm -hmm. When they observe something that they cannot understand, they look within themselves. Anything that resembles Anything they find within themselves that resembles what they're looking at, they will then attribute those qualities to that thing they're looking at, even though they might have no clue what that thing is. Human mm -hmm. beings observe each other being born. They observe each other crafting and making things. So when they look at the world, the natural assumption is that, oh, it had to have been made. You see what I'm saying? Well, 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 whereas, well, I don't think that is, I don't where, think that where, is where, necessarily where, a natural assumption. Where, whereas, in, hold on, bro. Whereas in the grand scheme of things, when you are, when you consider the immeasurable vastness of time as we understand it, past, present, future, not realistically, but just as we understand it, and you mm -hmm. also consider the innumerable amount of forces acting against each other, the Buddhist is the most correct in his observation. I disagree. Listen, let me finish. I disagree. What right, we are right. looking at is chaos which is a conflict between different forces. And then within, those, within that chaos, you would have a force, you have a moment where one force cannot overcome the other force because they might be equally strong. And within that balance, life sprouts. So life is a byproduct of the balance between the different interactions of different forces within nature, completely void of intent. Now, is it possible that human beings, there is some level of engineering involved? Yes, but it's not necessarily by an almighty supreme being. It will also be by entities who themselves might also be the product of some form of engineering or natural causes. But see, the but one see, thing see, we know for a fact becomes the, the, ambiguous. This is where your again? argument becomes ambiguous. No, my this evidence does, my, 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 my evidence is very coherent and straightforward. No, I'm no, trying no, to tell no. you it's, it's ambiguous because you're making a claim based on 
you know, the historical evidence and things being seem seemingly being to be chaotic. But obviously, as you know, based on technology and based on on the mankind learning things, they understand that there's an order to things. And maybe we just have not hit that level to where we understand <laughs> things in a complete form. You see what I mean? So, for example, we talk about back when. Oh, um, man. I, 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 back, I, I, when back when the Americans You're, you're inspiring to me to do then, the evil laugh, brother. You're inspiring me. No, <laughs> let me on, ask you now. a question. No, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me ask Go you ahead. a question. Go ahead. What is chaos? It is it, is without order. Actions without order. Give me your Red. final definition. Huh? Give me your final definition. Your most intelligent chaos. Definition. Chaos is the way is the way to explain a series of events that have no uh, of that have no definable order. No definable order? Correct. What is order? Order uh, is, is basically, um, I, I would describe it as uh, a predictable uh, reaction from an action, a predictable, con a predictable consequence from an action as well. Uh, say order is, hey, man, if I put my hand on the stove and I burn my hand, that's in order based on what I know about explaining the action itself. You know what I mean? And I can what explain causes, why I burn what, my hand because what, of science and what we have to describe that. That would be order. What causes disorder? What causes disorder? I think, I think lack of understanding of... No, it has nothing to do with understanding. Yeah, I think it does. I, no, I, I think, no, I think, no, no. Because like, what, what, bro, what, bro, what happens, bro, when when a what hurricane comes, order? when a hurricane comes and floods the land and causes chaos and disorder in the human world, it's not because of lack of understanding. This is not this is not subjective to the mind. I'm talking about outside of even thinking what we observe as disorder. But see, but see, right? but see, what but causes see. disorder? There is not necessarily even a, necessarily a lack of understanding. If you you want to bring the example of a hurricane in, like right? Had you if if people were more prepared and had the technology to really know the the power of what was to come, do you do you not think that people could make a hurricane be in order with the way of life? Is that what you know? What, I mean? what causes disorder? Random events. What does random mean? Random mean uh, something you wouldn't prepare for. So if you prepare for something, it's not random? If you're not prepared for something, it's random, yes. So how about in a situation where there's no need for preparation or not being prepared? What's what random? kind of situation would you have? What kind of situation would that be? Where I'm just walking down the street and I see someone I haven't seen in a while. Well, I can't say that you wouldn't prepare for a situation because if you if you were walking down the street, you prepared yourself to walk down the street. I don't know about you, but if I were to run into somebody that I haven't seen in a while, that wouldn't necessarily be a situation I wasn't prepared for. What is random outside of That's human influence? Hold on, 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 hold on. I'm taking you somewhere. What is random okay. outside of human influence? Outside of human influence? Yeah. Has to do with your environment. And random is, is is simply by definition something that you were not or could not foresee to be prepared for. Made, done, happening, or chosen without method or conscious decision. Correct. That's why I say being prep. Yeah, right. if it's a not tell me, decision, tell me, tell me the ex yeah. tell me, give me an example of something in the natural world which is random. A car accident. Who creates randomness? Um. Well, um, I would say reality creates randomness, and I, I guess I can't give you a who on that. Uh, it's more so in that that's, that's reality creates reality. Reality is not a creator. Reality is a phenomenon. 
it's, 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 reality is simply the state of the world as it is. Reality is not a creator. Exactly. So exactly. reality is, so that boils is, down. So, that, but see, but so see. hold on, 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 hold on. So you're saying that reality, which is the state of the world as it is, has the Correct. ability to bring about things randomly. Correct. Why do human beings have to have been created by someone? That's exactly what we're saying. That's what I'm that, saying. No, listen, so, listen, so, listen, listen. That's exactly my point. I know, that but just because I'm ho, the, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. Listen, listen. Everything that you see mm-hmm. is random. Even the order that you see is random. And the way we know it's random, because order doesn't last forever. Like every order only lasts for a moment of time. When the Those forces, randomness. when the when the when there is an imbalance between one or two forces. That leads to chaos, randomness, disorder, confusion. Well, no, and, imbalance and, between and even, two forces even does not order, chaos. If, say that again. The imbalance between two forces does not inherently create chaos. It's not a hundred percent of the time. And see, this is what a okay. Flaw give, the give me, give me, give me an example. Saying, give me, give me an example of a time when an imbalance doesn't lead to chaos. Okay. Um, say for example, um, let's, let's go back to science class when you were in like, maybe I I did it in third, third grade, I believe when, um, you create a volcano, right. And you mix the two chemicals together, it creates a what an imbalance. And therefore you have a, what a foam explosion and you can make the, uh, uh, foam come out of the volcano. And that do, that is due to a chemical imbalance based on the covalent bonds between the two chemicals that you put it in there and didn't make a proper connection and therefore it had an improper balance that gives you that 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 reaction am i am I, you feel what i'm saying bro but the reaction is chaotic that's literally what a that volcano is not chaotic is. it's controlled because you know no, how no, much to bro, do you bro, know bro, how much that's to literally to what make a, the effect. listen listen that's not listen, a, that's not random listen you knew what was going to happen how is that, that random is, bro because you you knowing doesn't change the fact that it's random because guess what? You don't decide which specific molecule and how that molecule reacts with which specific molecule, right? You are just looking at things from the grand scheme of things within a system that you don't have control. So yeah, when you mix those chemicals, there is going to be an imbalance. And that imbalance will be evident by the chaotic reaction, which is the, 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 the simulation of a, volca- a volcano. Meanwhile, right, when right. there is balance, there is no reaction. Correct, because but, but, there, is, but you, there, you, there is there is no reaction. Now yeah. I said to you, give me an example of something natural. So if you're in a laboratory, you're no longer dealing with something natural. That's now a controlled environment. So I'm gonna tell ask you the question again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask you the question again. I, I want you to give me the definition get, so I can give you a proper answer so I can know what context are you speaking in. I just want to have the no, definition. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to make it clear. Listen, 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 when you're listen. Speaking in the context. Give me an example okay. of something which happens naturally in the natural world outside of human influence. Let me, let me be precise. That way you get it. Where there is an imbalance that doesn't lead to chaos. Where there's an imbalance that does not lead to chaos? Yes, within nature. I think, I think, I think, oh, within nature. Hmm. Within the natural world, okay. yeah. What other worlds there? Okay, okay. Give me, give me a second. Let me think about it. Um, an imbalance. Okay. So let's talk about bears. Uh, we, we're talking about specifically brown bears who eat uh, salmon, right? Salmon are in a natural habitat, right? They swim upstream. They're going up the stream, through the mountains, what they do, living their life, their best life. What happens randomly to them in their life, man? A bear comes, grabs them out of water, and eats them, right? That's an imbalance of their said trajectory. And so it still (laughs) does not create chaos because the bear eats the salmon and the ecosystem is fulfilled. Come on, bro, are you even listening Come to yourself? Now. Don't do me like bro, that, bro. Bro, bro are now. you even listening to yourself? Your example, I am, your example. I, tell, hey, look. Listen, no, no, no. Listen, listen. Your example doesn't even apply. But from the perspective of the the, the salmon, that's chaos. Correct. He dies. Correct. From that's the chaos. Of the salmon, correct. 
but we're looking at all perspectives. No, no. Right? I, I, that's not what because I asked you. That's not what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. I said, as an observer, I asked you, you no, 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 no. Do not change the parameters of the question I asked you. I said, show me something which happens in nature, which doesn't lead to chaos. That means that as long as from anybody's perspective that's involved or anything within that natural environment, if, if there can be perceived chaos, then there is chaos, in fact, present due to an imbalance. Well, well, that's a, that's kind of an unfair thing because then we have to put it. No, in it's not a matter level. of unfair. It's just well, to establish I, my point. It's just to establish reason. my point, bro. That our reality, as far as we observe, we see order, which is a balance between different forces, different entities, different things that allows life to thrive. Life only thrives in a balanced environment. Then, when there is chaos. Death comes to life. Well, I disagree. And I'm going to tell you again, because to the salmon is chaos, correct? We're talking about the salmon's perspective. But if we had the ability to teach the salmon and let them understand, hey, this is not chaos. It had just happened randomly. This is why it happened. And they could perceive and understand that. Do you still think they would think it was chaos? It is That's still chaos saying. because it leads no, to death. Not. Listen, not. listen, listen. What makes something chaotic is not what you think of it. It's what it is without you having to think of it. That, no, that's not true. It's your understanding of it. Listen, bro. <laughs> it is your understanding. Is Let your me understanding. ask you something. Let me ask you something. There's a car accident on the highway, right? Right. And the dude, one of the dudes wanted to honor life himself. Mm -hmm. So he crashes the car into somebody else. Right. That was not random, right? It depends on the perspective. Thank you. Listen. In that moment, though, listen. In that moment. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is is it still an accident? It's an accident, correct. What's an accident? Something that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> What's that? Isn't that random? Not all the time, bro. It has to do with, <laughs> it has to do with perspective and understanding. Nah, what bro. I'm saying. Like, that, you, that is just that random. There is no God. So basically, the point I'm getting to, and we we got all these, we got all these. Listen, examples. listen. This is the definition of the word accident. Of. This is the definition so, of the word accident. Okay, an unfortunate incident that happens unexpectedly and unintentionally, typically resulting in damage or injury. That is very okay. consistent with what chaos is. Chaos is hostile to life. That is why life only thrives in an orderly environment. That's why people are you're talking about global warming. Let's save the environment. When there is drought, there is an absence of water. The absence of water allows human beings to get dehydrated. There is chaos. Wait, 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 wait. You saying life only thrives in an orderly environment? Are yes, you, are life you cannot, about that answer? That's why it's called. On the, you stand on that? That's, you yes, on that? That's what, yes, that's why it's called. Okay, let, that's why, that's, listen, listen, bro, bro, that's brother, it. brother, brother. That's why it's called the natural order. There is, there is a natural order that comes out of nature. The randomness of nature also allows, like, you have two forces of equal capability that will meet each other at some point randomly within nature and then when that when that natural order is created it creates a fertile environment for life just like a plant cannot have too much water or too much sunlight right mm -hmm. but there's no one there calibrating how much water or how much sunlight it should have see your problem is the perceived randomness, especially to mankind over time, which is what created religion in the first place. Do you not think that the Native Americans who worship sun god, who worship the rain god, they didn't think that that was randomness at first until they were able to, you know, communicate amongst themselves and somebody randomly said, oh, we got to create these bro, guys. Bro, you're just became, making my it, it point. Went from being random. The, you're just making to, my to point. Now. And, and your, your way of thinking is consistent mm -hmm. with those religious people, right? The no, reason not, no, why... Not, not at all. I'm not listen, a listen, person at all. We before, human we beings, because life only thrives in order, human beings look for order so they can feel secure. Chaos makes human beings insecure. That is that's, why that, if that, you that, tell... That, that, no, 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 that's, that's that, wrong. Humans look for an explanation of randomness. 
that give them security. It doesn't have to. The reason why be a way human beings try to explain, they can understand. Listen, bro. The reason why human beings try to explain chaos is so they can feel secure. Like, listen. If if you were in your house and then there's a bunch of gunshots outside of your house, you would want to know what's happening so you can feel safe. Because you don't know if it's going to come to your house, right? If you hear a bunch of sirens outside your apartment or outside your house and there's a bunch of police officers just yelling, you will want to know what's happening so you can feel secure. That is human nature. If you put a human being in the cage, the human being will want to know what the cage is so he can feel secure. That is why human beings, in the, when they face situations where they, there's no perceived order or any observable order, they have to now imagine that though we don't see somebody would have had to do would have had to do this as long as somebody did it they feel like they can cater to that person's sense of superiority in order to gain mercy i think i think i think what you what you're kind of conflating and, and it's kind of part of the, the the human experience is what we perceive to be chaotic what we perceive to be uh without order is just something we have yet to understand, and I think that that's the that's, that's not true. Some things are because, genuinely because it's based on listen, evidence. We listen, can talk about all some things, things that happen things randomly. Some things on our are genuinely that they thought were random. Some things are genuinely random. Like what? Like what? For example, right? Did you and I plan to be on this live tonight? Well, we talked last week, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 brother, 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 brother. Did you and I plan to be here tonight talking to each other? No, no okay. we didn't. Your schedule to our and my schedule. We did not. No, nah, bro, listen carefully. Your yeah. schedule and my schedule randomly intersected such that when I came live, I had the time to come live within my schedule, without thinking, without taking your schedule into consideration. And then within your schedule, you also happen to have just had time at this specific moment. So we had the opportunity to interact with each other. Then nobody planned that shit. That's random. Well, well we can't say that 100%. Okay, who planned it? Who, who planned it? Who, 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 planned, who planned for you and I to be here tonight? Oh shit! My bad. Uh, who who planned for you and I no, to be here I'm tonight? I'm saying there are parts of. Somebody oh, no. said the life is frozen. Is the life frozen, y'all? Nah, it, it, it froze. It froze for a second. I got I got a phone call. My bad. Hold up. But we need to know the 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 um, or, like how did it originate from? You understand? Know it originates from you. Any problem that you have that you're involving, you are the you are the reason why there's that problem. You should begin by controlling your behavior. Take responsibility for your actions. Why are you blaming the devil? Have you ever seen the devil doing anything to anybody? The devil is also an imaginary character like God. That a scapegoat. An imaginary scapegoat. That's who the devil is. The imaginary scapegoat. I don't reason. You, you, have, you have imagined a character that you can just blame for all your problems. While absorbing no. yourself of the responsibility to take, to take the actions necessary to solve that problem. That's why I often tell people on TikTok, y'all. Anybody that gives you information that you cannot put it to practice is giving you useless information. Good knowledge is practical. It's useful. Useful. Let me put it useful. You can do something with it. Something productive. Any so knowledge or information practice. which doesn't translate into practicality is entertainment. That's why it's really good to go and watch Beyonce sing. And then when you're done watching Beyonce sing, you go about your life. Baganga, I'm getting confused. But anyways, I want to know um, how the... Um, I've encountered a very serious scenario where someone gets um, attracted to something. A very demolic thing. And they, they call it um, Kaimata. So... How do you explain that kind of scenario when something is attracted to someone like from nowhere without anything, you know, being done? It's a it's a coincidence. Thank you. How is that like? It's a no, coincidence. coincidence. So coincidence doesn't have like a way to figure it out. As you say, the moment you know it's a coincidence, you figured it out. It's a coincidence. 
how is it a coincidence when you are with your senses because your senses tell you that it happened randomly that's what you observe that's what's happening why do, why do you need to know anything beyond that let me tell you something as far as demons the only demons is your bad behavior eh? if you have bad behavior you have demons your bad character and you can fix that by thinking and examining your actions and the consequences of your actions so the coincidence happen like frequently. I thought it's always like, as the name implies, coincidence. It should be like a, a once in a while thing. So why do, does it like occur frequently if it's a coincident thing? Because life is just a series of coincidences. Majority of what happens in life is a series of coincidences. That's why we die, because eventually it overwhelms us and overcomes us. Chaos, like I was saying to that last guest, death. Is evidence that chaos is greater than order. That there is more chaos than order. Let me put it that way. Death. The fact that all living things die is evidence that there is more chaos than order. If there was more order than chaos, things would last for a really long time. Long, 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 long time. Human beings will live for thousands of years. That is why we have medicine. You know what medicine does? Medicine tries to extend our lifespan by getting rid of things that kill us. By getting rid of things that cause chaos within our system. Disease, bacteria, viruses. If we can kill the bacteria, then we will create an orderly system, a healthy human being. That's why well, the word, the health, that the the word health can be yeah. used synonymous with the word order. And the word unhealthy can be used synonymous with the word chaos. Fine, fine. The rate at which these things are occurring is pretty low because... If um, a lot of people should die, it will not like um, really impact on any way in the world. It will be um, pretty low. So it will not be obvious. So, um, Pub D. Pub D. Pub D. I'm listening. Thank you for your time. Okay. I still have a lot to answer, but uh, it's okay. It's okay, bro. Continue to listen. You will learn. And you can also just invest a lot of time to think about the things you have questions about yourself. If you apply some critical thinking, you might be able to find some of the, a lot of those answers. You won't need anyone to answer the questions for you. Hello? Hi. Are you back? Me? Okay, it's not you. Go ahead. What? What's up? I've never been on. How are you? Hello? I am how I am. Oh, wonderful. I just... My question is... What is your belief? That I what? don't have to believe. But what does I, that I mean? believe I believe that I don't have to believe. Right, but what does that entitle? That since... entitle that I don't hold any personal opinions and allow it to govern my behavior as far as my interaction with the external world. So anything right. that I believe is in my head, it stays in my head. If I want to deal effectively with the world outside of me, I have to go beyond what I believe and I need to seek knowledge. I need to seek understanding and wisdom. Yes, Winnie. But what I'm saying is when people ask you questions, you have strong opinions. So what are they? I just started... What makes, what makes an opinion an opinion? So I have none. So what makes, an, what, what makes an opinion an opinion? What makes an opinion an opinion? Mm -hmm. You tell me. I'm asking you. you I'm, you're I'm the one who brought up the word opinion. Me. No, 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 no. I, I'm asking you because I came on if, here to ask If you. somebody asks me a question, I will share mm -hmm. with them my understanding. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I share with them my understanding is because my understanding is observable. So if they need right. me to go into any more details, I will point out to them that my understanding is really not my understanding. My understanding is an observation of something that they right. too can observe. But I asked you what? The answer was, <laughs> and you 
asked me a question and then said you would answer within your understanding. You asked me what? What was your opinion? Like, what is your point in all of this? Oh, why Gen am I doing this? No, yeah. So you have such spoken, like, this is your page, but right. you always, I asked you what was your meaning for all of this if there's no God. My meaning for all of this is to inspire people to think for themselves and to think within the narratives, ancient narratives, the illogical narratives, the mythological narratives that have which governed are, the human thinking for a long time. Which are? They believe in imaginary beings and they pretend that those imaginary beings are real. So it's a mental illness. In, but what do you believe in? That's my question. Like, nothing. I wanna know. So, nothing. That's your answer? Did I answer with the word nothing? No, but like, if I answered you with nothing, you would hit me with 30 things. Do you know and why you have a problem accepting my answer? Why do you have an, uh, a problem with me asking you the question and you answering me nothing? If I, if you ask because me- Because it's the true. Question, I believe nothing I, or no one. Exactly, not... but I I believe in nothing also. So okay, why do so you... what, what is your argument? So, so why do you have a page about there's no God when you believe in nothing? Because believing I is not the I don't, because my behavior and my intentions are not governed by my belief. It's governed by understanding the world Neither as it is. I. Neither am I. But what I'm saying is, what is your motive or what is your answer to the people that have questions and even if they don't have questions you say we have nothing there's no question so what is the the answer to the question Sister, you're that... confusing yourself no no what is the difference I between can't... a belief and an understanding that's my question to you but you couldn't answer it this is what a belief is. A belief is what you want something to be. And understanding right, is right. you simply getting, seeing and observing and getting that thing exactly. as it is. You said you believe in nothing. Neither do I. So what is your answer to your own question? To what question? To the question you just asked me. What was the question I just that asked you? you? See? Think what was about the question it. I just asked you? Think about it. I think the chat might ask. Uh, it, Sister, it, you're it, asking me for an answer to a question that I don't even remember asking. Neither do I. Like, my question is, why is it that you, the thing is that you go around in circles. I understand. But Sister, we, with all due respect, you're the we, one going around in circles, not me. No, honey. If we, you and I, don't believe in anything, that Nothing. means that the listen, listen. That means that we have something greater than belief, or less than right. belief. So, what does it mean? What does what mean to you? What My question what? is: What is it that nothing means that's more in importance to you that doesn't believe? Oh, believe. When I say I believe in nothing, I mean that nothing out of everything I hear, see, observe. I don't need mm -hmm. to believe it in order to make yes. use of it. Yes. And if I attempt to believe it, then I will have to change it into my image in order to consume it. But if I seek to simply understand it, even if something is unbelievable, I will still understand it. If it is believable, I will still understand it. But if I approach it from a perspective of I believe, I don't believe, then I might stop myself or impede myself from understanding things that I don't believe in. So in order to be able to understand things which are believable and things which are not believable, I discard belief completely. And I deal with seeking to know things. And when I know things, I can use that knowledge practically through understanding to gain more understanding, to gain more knowledge. And eventually I have wisdom. Wisdom allows me to solve problems. And when I solve problems, the world is a better place. Exactly. Knowledge is wisdom. Yes, I agree. 
No, I didn't say knowledge was wisdom. Yes, no, to a degree. Yes. To no degree. Did what I say that mean? knowledge was wisdom? So please explain. Elaborate. I'm no, knowledge I'm... is the information mm -hmm. that comes to me. Yes. Which understanding yes. is the evidence that I have in fact received that information as it is yes. and comprehended that information as it is. Wisdom is now the skills, the Applying. talent Applying. that is born out of my understanding of yes. said knowledge. And applying. Applying. Correct or no? <laughs> What's no? your point? What's your point? My point was my question. Repeat. What I'll give, we, just, just do it all over again. What's your point? Go straight to your point. No, I. My general question. Look, I'm here. I came here. I don't know where. I want to ask you, what is your stand on what you believe in? Like everybody has. Okay, there is. What no What do I believe in? Okay, but can you? My thing is, there is no God, right? We That's not have... a belief. That's not a belief. It's... No, I understand. But this was... Don't... Hello? 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 Oh, yeah. So, my question is, again... What is the point of this, that there is no God? For you to help people? Like, what do you read books? Do you... I know that you have knowledge and wisdom. And I know that you are smart. And you don't believe in God. But, like, what do you believe in? Is Nothing. my question. Nothing. Right, but... When you believe in nothing, how did we get here? I don't know. Spontaneous combustion? Dinosaurs? Like... I don't know. You don't know. Mother Nature? Like... You, do you... You know, like... I know that you spoke on um, Hindu... Um, Buddhism. And you have some sort of connections towards that, but like, what, what do you, what is your position on this? On what? On that there is no God. I, I want to know. My position I, is that I there is no God. That, right, but how is it that you came about that? Like. My what eyes work, you? my nose work, my mouth works, my ears work. I observe. I don't see God anywhere. Do you? Right, but I yeah. You I see God somewhere? Yeah. Where? Um everywhere. You see God everywhere? Yeah. Like for real? Yeah. I'm not hallucinating, nothing like that, but I speak and I hear and I talk. I do, you, do, you, do you see God? Do you see God in the toilet when you when you flush? Oh, don't be funny! I almost. I'm not being funny, sister. You say you see God everywhere, so I'm thinking of so somewhere. But, so when when but, you finish using the toilet and you you flush, you turn around, you look at it, and you flush. Do you see God? I don't. Listen to me. So be God is everywhere except in the toilet. Can you can you please be respectful, please? No, I'm being respectful. You, you just don't like the question. I'm following your line of reasoning. You said you see God everywhere. But I can think of places where you don't see God. And one of those places no, no, no. is in the toilet no, bowl God, when you flush. God sees me everywhere. How do you know that? Because he's omnipresent. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. So you read a fairy tale book. And no, now you go around book. pretending nope. that you see God nope. everywhere. It's historical since the beginning of So time. it's historical that snakes can talk. 
um, before. It's historical that it's thick. That yep. Moses had it in his hand can turn into a snake. Yep. That's historical. Yep. That's, magic, that's history to you. Magic. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's historical that a man can walk on water. Uh, it's also historical that dinosaurs existed, but they're also dragons. It's historical that a stick can split the water, they can are, split a yeah. sea into half. Well, God does miracles. So let me ask you a question then, sister. I'm curious. What is fiction? Um, Something that is not reality. How do you know that something is not reality? We don't know. How do you know that we are not reality? Sister, you said that fiction is something which is not reality. How then do you know that something is fictional? My thing is, if if you can let me talk for a minute. If you're going to answer my question. How do I what? How do you know that something is not reality? Because God brought me back to life. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, I like that song. I don't I listen to that music anymore. But today. No, I understand. It's hard for people to believe. I understand. No, no, sister. It's not hard for people to believe. You just have a <laughs> mental condition that you don't know. Oh, honey. I'm, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying there's any hatred or any ill intent in my heart. No, I have no offense. It's to called that. schizophrenia, delusional paranoia, <laughs> being absent minded. I so call it domestic it? human syndrome. So, what happens to those manic eyes that you have? Is that is that not a condition of ADHD or bipolar or <laughs> what manic eyes? <sighs> no. Those eyes you have, honey. You're intimidated by my eyes? No. Why do you feel the I need don't. then to, to put an argument? Because you judge me by something that you don't know. No, no, I judge on. you by what you've said. You said <laughs> mm -hmm. you see God everywhere. Mm -mm. I said I experience God everywhere. Mm hmm. You said to me that you see God everywhere. Now you're changing your statement. No, no. Well, I do see okay, him Okay, okay. Do you well, experience... I've never seen him. Sister, sister, you experience God everywhere, right? See, this is your thing, like... My, my sister, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, let's yeah. go with it. You experience God everywhere, right? Yes. Do you experience God when you're fucking? I, I don't have sex. No, I have not for a long time. So I don't know. Maybe... But I, I haven't. How about when you're taking honest. a shit? Mm. See, you're being disrespectful now. No, sister. No, sister. I can think of a situation in which you will not experience God. You said you experience God everywhere. And I know you as a human being. Surely you eat food like me. I take fat shits all the time. And I wipe my ass. And I do not experience God. So I'm just curious if you experience God even in such a moment. so Such an intimate well, moment. I have. I have during the prayer. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not talking about prayer. I'm talking about doing shit taking. Waste disposal. No. Well, no. You're you're bringing it to another level. That's not... Oh, I'm world. bringing it to the real world. Because now, no, let me no, guess. You no, don't take shit too? Not, you don't, you don't take not, shit too? There's nothing There's yes, nothing but, unhuman. There's nothing that's demeaning. That's not how you experience God, though. Sister, sister. There is nothing demeaning. There's nothing demeaning with excretion. We are excrete. All of us. Yeah, we all exactly. defecate. Yeah. And I have no shame in that. And I'm okay. Good. You so you say you experience God everywhere. I'm curious if you experience God while you're defecating. Yeah. While I'm praying. Yeah. It doesn't pray, mean you that pray, every you time, pray, you... like we're. It, it doesn't mean that we're like vessels where we're like glowing all day. We have free will. We have. We have. That has Prayer. nothing to do with you justifying how you experience God everywhere, except when you're taking a shit. But I have. Yes, I have. Do you experience God when you're taking a shit? I have, yes. Tell me about that experience. And I have when I've tell, taken a shower. Yeah, so tell me, tell I, me, when I was have... the last time when was the last time you experienced God when you were taking um... a shit? <laughs> um yesterday. So how did that happen? I was just praying that like 
he'd be with me throughout the day and that tell me about how you experienced god while you were taking the shit yesterday i want to know <laughs> you're ridiculous i'm not ridiculous you're just know. lying My i'm it's not that i'm ridiculous ridiculous it's that you're lying no i'm not i you didn't experience I, god while taking the shit the only thing I'm you experienced you was right a push now, i am i am telling you right now that i am the world's worst liar if you were to ask me a question i agree with you you are the worst worst liar that's why you're easy to catch i just caught you lying because you don't no, know how to you're lie corny. no you're corny because i i can't make that you said stuff. you were the world worst liar no, so that makes sense that's why it's easy to catch a liar that's better lying you guys look what i'm trying to say is why do you got to make up such ridiculous thing in order to justify your believing god why can't you just accept the fact that you're making it up in your head i'm not making it up yeah you're making my it up in your head my grandma just died and i was just praying in the toilet last night that so 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 so, so when you were praying yeah, that's the equivalent around. don't make it seem because what i'm trying to say is that i'm the world's worst liar is that i cannot tell a lie if i even wanted to so, so, so let me get this sisters, right let me get this right sister. my so, sisters ask me don't interrupt when my sister asked me if they have a nice dress on or if they did, I cannot tell a lie. Or if somebody says, hey, are you coming into work? I cannot tell a lie. Stop being defensive, I will sister. I not lie about S this Stop, stop being stuff. defensive. Hello, Laura. No, when you, no. you, you were, your grandmother just You're passed away. You're calling me a liar and that's just disrespectful. No, it's not disrespectful. You're disrespecting it me by is. telling me, you're, you're disrespecting me by telling me that if I see a lie, I shouldn't call it out. You you are a liar. Okay, sure. What did I lie about? That you said that you didn't know why there is no God. When did I say that I didn't know why there's no God? You said it. Ah! So not only are you a liar, you're also satanic. You know, the word satan means accuser. Now you're just accusing me you're of saying things I didn't say when everybody's watching. That's very satanical. That is you're, very satanic. I'm telling you. An you're an accuser. You're the accuser. What did I accuse you of? Lying. But you were lying though. No, I did not. Then Honestly, prove to me, prove to me that you experienced God I, while you were on the toilet bowl yesterday. Do you understand? You just said to me that you experienced God everywhere you went. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. No, I have experienced, I didn't say all the time, but I have experienced God. You anyway. said you experienced God everywhere. The first thing you said was, I see God everywhere. Then you changed it to, I experience God everywhere. Now you're saying sometimes? You know in the Bible, you know who talks about that in the Bible? The snake. He's got a twisted tongue. He can't say the same shit twice in the same way. Don't My swear sister. at me, sir. I didn't swear at you. What did I swear? Just don't swear. Says who? What swear word did I use? Um, the S word. The S word is not a profanity to me. I'm sorry if it is for you. To me. Okay, good for you. You don't well, get to control my vocabulary. Shit well, means shit well, means nonsense. Well, you don't have to say to me that you aren't a manipulator and a stake. Okay. So what? Mm -hmm. So. Can you please, can we go back to the original No, question? sister, there's no going back. I don't think you remember where we started from. Yes. Your, your GPS is not working. My GPS is currently working, but can we please no, sister. go back to you saying why you state that there is no God? Because we cannot observe that there is. We observe that there is not. When any what? perfectly functioning, non-delusional human being that observes the world can see mm -hmm. that there is no God. What they in fact see is just a bunch of claims coming out of human beings' mouth, like yours. Like experiences that happen on the toilet bowl while, 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 while participating in the act of shit disposal. I don't, when I take a shit, I don't experience God. The can only I thing I experience, I the only thing I experience is relief. Can I and tell you smells. an experience where, where you crapped on all of it before I said it? 
Hmm? That I that that that's why I believe in God. Since you interrupted me, you believe in God because you're you know emotionally and mentally insecure with your life. No, I'm not. But can I tell you why? So if I'm you still if you here? die today, are you gonna go to heaven or hell? If I die today, yeah. Where will you go? Heaven or hell? Heaven. How do you know that? Because I know. You know that because you know. Yeah. I told you your GPS was broken. You need maintenance. Why? So you need maintenance, my good sister. You need maintenance. Somebody need to fix so the GPS. You so know because you know. Mm. So where is your maintenance where you can tell me that I'm going to hell? I didn't tell you you're going or to hell. hell. <laughs> you're not going to hell. You're not going anywhere after you die. Oh. You're going to decompose. your body. In fact, after you die, there's no more you. So what's left is what we call remains. Eh? So I someone might take you to the morgue. They might do an autopsy, depending on how you went. Or you might be in the middle of the ocean. But one thing is for sure, there will be decomposition and disembodiment. That's it. There's no more you. Once you die, there's no more you. So you don't go anywhere. Well, I believe we agree in that. That there's no body that's left. We agree. But can you let me um, explain why I believe in God? Or no? Hello? I'm trying to calculate using my mental calculator if this mathematics is worth the effort. But go ahead. Well, it's up to you. I, you know, I respect you regardless of your opinion. Whether you think I shit and believe in God. No, I don't think so. You said it. I was no, calling you put, what you said. You put those words in my mouth, buddy. I, didn't, but... I don't have the ability to put words in your mouth. Uh Nobody you, in this world has ability to put words in your mouth. Those words you, came out but, on their own. But will you allow me to say it or no? I respect you regardless. To say what? Why I still believe in God. This is my prediction. It's probably some mm -hmm. delusional, fictitious reason. Go ahead. Yes, well, you can describe it that way. Yeah. If it is that way, I don't need to describe it that way for it to suddenly become that way. It is what it is, regardless of my description. It, I think we all have ears. Go ahead. Tell us, why exactly. do you believe in God? <laughs> exactly. I agree with you. And I will not judge anyone who thinks otherwise. Just tell me why you believe in God. So, I almost died last year. Um, twice in a month. I'm sorry. Yep. And I had three brain bleeds. They had to do surgery. I didn't see lights. I didn't see any of that. But I wasn't there. You understand? Um, my brain bled extensively where I had, it was massive. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna, God brought me back. I'm not gonna say, please don't. That's my belief. I get it. I didn't see it. That's why you I know? said, sister, people believe in God because of mental issues. No, you know, it's not what happened issues. to you. What happened to you was unfortunate. Eh? Look, I wish there was nobody, you. and I'm sorry that you had to suffer that kind of health crisis. But you know, those type of health crisis has the ability to damage human brains and unstabilize human beings emotionally. And you saying that God brought you back, that's just spoiling your story because your story was already very understandable. The moment you said you had this issue that happened to you, and then you know you overcame it. I'm pretty sure with the help of medical science. But you didn't give the doctor credit. You didn't give the ambulance no, credit. I did. I did. I did. I did. Now you're I giving credit to something you imagined in your head. No, I I think the doctors and everything. And then a month later, I was in a car accident. God brought you back from where? From death. Where is death? I... Um, I've you realize that when you die, you didn't go anywhere. So there's no bringing back. There's literally no bringing back because you never went anywhere. That's what 
what I'm saying? No, I understand. The doctors help you. Our doctors are doing a fantastic job. Those guys they go to school. They, those they... guys go to school for a very long time. But honey, can can I tell you they had to bring me back like to life? The you know. Were you I completely was dead. Were, were you completely dead with no heartbeat? Yes. Yes. Was your body decomposed? Then... No, it wasn't. But they had to. So use... you were not dead. No, they had to use the machines to bring me back. Yes, that's called resuscitation. They had to assist don't your body. Don't downplay that. Listen, sister. I was dead sister, for a minute. No, 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 no. You wish you were dead, but you weren't. Dead no, people don't come back. I, I don't wish I was sister, dead. Sister, let me tell you something about death. Dead people don't come back. The moment someone comes no, back, that's my because they only... just died a week ago. Yes, sister, I know. Sister, sister. The mm -hmm. only way you are here today is because you never truly, in fact, died. You only got so close to dying. That meaning that, and death is defined as this complete cessation of all bodily functions. So yes, your bodily functions, many of them might have ceased working, but they did not completely cease working. So you needed assistance with a defibrillator, oh. right? Maybe a defibrillator, maybe some tubes or something to help, to help assist the parts of your body that were not working. And the parts that were working were able to gain strength to bring you back to full health. That's the real truth. If you had died, you wouldn't be here talking to me, oh. I know. Uh -huh. So people don't get cookies for saying that they died, then came back. The thing, the problem is that you were sick. No, I don't like cookies. Yeah, sister, you were sick to a point of near death. And thanks to the fantastic job of some fantastic, hardworking doctor who's probably yes, getting paid. and I gave them their credit. You are credit. here. It has yeah. nothing to do with an imaginary God that you have now conjured up in order to emotionally balance yourself after that experience. But what is it that you... This is my question. So what is it that you believe in that happens if there's no God? I don't need so to believe that anything happened when I can simply so listen just, to you, understand just, what happened, and then give no, you the logical conclusion. I, it's not a matter of belief. My, my initial question was, where did we pop up from? Look. From our father's testicles and our mother's uterus. But where do we come After from? After a process of fucking. Yes. Well, yeah, if you put it that way. Uh, but ah, like, I'm not putting it, it that way. That's what happens now, my sister. I understand. It's, it's not me. Like, where was it's, the it is what I typically ending? call a testicular process. <laughs> it's a testicular what? process, you know? But where do we come There is no from one talking to us right now who does not originate okay. from a testicle somewhere okay. under the sun. I'm sorry, but can I ask you? The did we come from the the Big Bang theory or the dinosaurs? Or the... I did not come from any Big Bang. Oh. So what what that's what I'm asking. No, 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 no. I understand what you're saying. It's just that when you say we, I don't know why you keep including me. I didn't come from any big no, bang. No, no. I'm, I I don't believe in what you believe in, but I'm saying like all of us, the people hearing you, where did they come from? From our parents' testicles and uteruses. Yes. But like how did the planet form? Like how did like DNA form? How did the planets through the evolution? Right. So evolution is what to you? Is the process by which things change throughout time from a more simple state to more complex states. So you believe in dinosaurs? No, I don't need to believe in dinosaurs. If dinosaurs' bones are there, the dinosaurs' bones are there, whether I believe it or not. So that's why I don't believe in anything because my belief does not make something true. That's why you, you right. keep not understanding right. me. But do you, but believe do you believe something in something is but not what makes that thing true. But do you believe in um the what what are they the the first nothing man nothing like no thing I believe in no thing. So, so there's you nothing you can in? say. Do you believe in that? I will say yes. I will say no to everything that you include the word belief. So what are the? You should ask me. Do you understand? Do you know? That's all you should be asking me. When you're talking to me, don't ask me what I believe. I'll say I don't believe anything. If you ask me, do you understand something? And if I don't understand it, I'll say I don't understand. If I do understand, I'll give you my best understanding. That's the best I can do. As far as beliefs. Okay, Coco Biaco. So do, okay, so do you, believe, do you believe in Nephilims? No. Do you believe in giants? No. 
Do you believe in spontaneous combustion? I already told you the answer is no. Do you believe but, in spontaneous? You asked me, do you believe in? So I'll ask you. I've already you told you that I don't believe in anything. That includes any question you can ask me. Why are you doing that? What are you expecting? So why do you, can you explain, like my mind, and I'm pretty sure a lot of your, maybe you will have massive more viewers if you answer this question. I don't care what? if I have massive more viewers. As long as you're here and I'm back and you, you, that's what matters. You, wait, you said you believed in Buddhism to an extent. I never said I believed in Buddhism. You did. You, ex you, you at some point said Buddha. Sister, said, da, da, da. yes, if I mention Buddhism, it doesn't mean it is a matter of belief. I am quoting it ideologically. I was talking with a brother. I said Buddhism is a belief system that makes the most sense. It's more consistent with what we observe. Chaos so and why balance. Is that? So why is that? It simply is because that's what we observe. Why? Why what? Why is it that it makes the most sense? I'm because it you. is consistent with what we observe. Chaos Which and balance. Means? And life thrives wherever there is balance and order. All right. I got you. Thank you so much for your time. And... You want to know what, sister? Yeah. You have been back angalized. Thank you for your time. What? I said you have been back angalized. Back. Kangalized. What does that mean? Don't worry. Ask God. Next time you pray, ask God what it means. Uh, I think I. Her mentality has been reorganized. Ladies and gentlemen, in as much as I would like to continue, I got to go. <laughs> Sorry to all those 11 people in line waiting. I'm so sorry, y'all. My time has come. You guys know, I barely come online these days. But when you do see me, you need to come. Remember that there is no God. There never has been. There never would be. You can believe all you want. You still have to go out of your house and go out and work like the rest of us. You get it? Your belief is not going to do anything for you. That's extra. Period. You're wasting your time. Focus on what you can know and what you cannot know. Understand the difference between what you can know and what you will never be able to know. Focus on what you can actually know and turn it into a skill or a talent and solve problems in the world. You see what I'm saying? The, the key, the most important reason why we seek knowledge is to solve problems. If you're that kind of person that comes on TikTok to seek knowledge so you can entertain yourself, good for you. That knowledge is useless to you. Useful knowledge is knowledge that can be used to solve problems. Problem solving. All knowledge is grounded in its ability to solve problems. Information which doesn't solve problems is what we call fiction, entertainment, movies, cartoons, whatever it is. Believing in God is for the entertainment of those who are insecure with their life. Those who have been overwhelmed by the problems of life. Those who are tired of living and they just wish they can disappear. Those who have not made peace with the fact that life is about toil and grind and suffering and hard work just to eventually die. Those who have not accepted the fact that they have died, that they will die and that will be it. Believing in God is for those who are addicted to life. Believing in God is for those who are addicted to life. They cannot make peace that all things end, even life. Hence, make use of the little bit of life that you have. Value it in every moment. For you won't be having any more than you will get. Make peace with the fact that life ends in actuality. Death is a true end of life as we commonly observe. We do not observe anything beyond. Do not put your hope in fables and tales and promises. 
of heavens with streets of gold and mansions and thrones and crowns. Especially when you do it in exchange for the actual moment of life that you have. Some of you are so invested in a future that would never come. That you forget the present that is. Some of you are caught up in regrets of past which are long gone. That you forget to live in the present. Free yourself of future expectations. Free yourself of past regrets. Embody yourself and arm yourself with the zeal of the present moment. Take it one breath at a time, one day at a time. And you would find that the worst that could happen to you is you not enjoying every step of the process because you are either anxious about what you don't know or regretting what is no more. You have all been back and ladies and gentlemen. I'm out, y'all. Thank you so much to everyone. I'll see you.